Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we had a brief respite for our Saturday horror yesterday, which was a really cool horror game, by the way, called uh, Alone in the Dark, if you guys missed that. And um, had a lot of fun with that. But uh, now we're going to hop back into some more dragon, ogre, demon slaying, and hopefully we don't get hemp slapped by a couple nuns like we did earlier. Short incoming. Uh, <laughs> man, they pimp slapped a crap out of me. That nun was just like... She ain't even stopped either. It was like it was like ten minutes straight of just me getting slapped around. <laughs> Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. <laughs> Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. All right, what the hell quest were we on when we finished here? We might as well gather what. What were we on? Hunt for the Jadeite Ore, which I don't really care about. Nation of the Lambent Flame. Make for Batal and use the entry permit received received from Captain Brant to pass through the border checkpoint. I believe that's the one that we're on right now. We can. We and need to take I'm a. Much mistaken, we have calls to visit a place not far from here. We might kill two birds with one stone, or focus on our current objective. Both choices have merit. <laughs> Both choices have merit. Mm. Sorry, something about her voice really bugs me. She sounds like she would be in an anime and she'd do the glasses. <laughs> Quite sure I was, but ox carts don't run. Was it a phantom then? I shudder to think. Huh. Nap time. Oh, how I've longed to him. I did not mean to do rest till nightfall. I meant to do rest till morning. Your pawn has returned from beyond the rift. This Arisen was led by example, demonstrating deeds of valor. The Arisen carried a rare article. I've never seen the like. Such experience are what the journey make the journey worthwhile. Hmm. You received equipment from an Arisen in another world. Huh. Think of my travels, tis a mighty warrior who springs to mind. A more doughty champion I've never seen. It appears night has fallen while we slept. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a night. I know precisely when a curative is needed, master. Yep. Uh, I took off, she took off my hat because I didn't realize what piece of equipment that she was given. Hold on. I don't think that's the piece of equipment she's supposed to have on. I got her a much better helmet. Much better indeed. All right, let's uh, let's do some quick depositing before we leave. Get rid of as much crap as we possibly can. Rotten food. Food we need to sell, otherwise it just goes bad. Goes bad quickly too. The arrows can go to a uh, girly over there. All the materials can be used from the stash, so it's not really that big of a deal. Like, I pretty much just throw all materials in the stash whenever I get them. Uh, let's 
put that in there too. We also don't need the courtly breaches anymore. Creos Tyne, an arc staff capped by a jewel believed to hold primordial flame. Its fire enchantment blazes eternal. Take a look at that later. Prowler Kerchief. Is she equipping it or does she not have it on? Like it's a mask. I guess I can equip that to her. Spider Venom Shacks. Why does it sound like there's no music coming from the game? It's just like a dead quiet. Weird. Right, it looks like we need to re-up our uh, our pawns as well. Because two of our pawns are falling behind everybody else. Alright. Let's also go ahead and give her these arrows. Uh, give arrows, Gina. Hilfer's Handbook. All right, we just need to sell off some of this <coughs> food. Let's go till morning. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go the then. The vim. Feeling rested, I trust. All right, so we got a couple tasks. First off, we need to go re uh, re up all of our pawns. We need a new mage, and we need a new sorcerer. See one confined to jail. <laughs> As I understand it, the pay of a jailer is miserable for all their toil. Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. I'm going to be glad to be rid of Sheshri. He's annoying. He's actually really annoying, to be perfectly honest. He's not getting a thumbs up from me. <laughs> View unique pawns. Official pawns. Hey, look, it's me. Level 30 Farina. Oh, okay. That's an actual person. I can summon people pawns? Is that is that really a thing? I can summon people pawns? Look at all these freaking hearts and thumbs up on half these people. I'm Barry. A bobo. Monthly rankings. 
Number one, Selvi. <coughs> Chonk Lord. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to summon anybody else's pawn over here. Sphinx's mother, Beastrin. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. Okay. We need to get rid of Jamin. Booty, booty Cheeks Jones over here. It was a fine journey we shared. Wherever your travels take you, it will be an honor to serve by your side. Okay, and we also need to get rid of the mage. Mage is too low level now. We need a sorcerer, sorry, sorcerer. Twenty-seven, level twenty-seven. Dominique, she got a bunch of freckles on her face. Nana. I mean, honestly, one is as good as the other as long as they have their skills put in and they're actually set up right. It certainly doesn't matter. I guess let's just grab. Dominique. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. Uh, so she's maxed out. She has all her skills and her augments. I mean, looks fairly good. <laughs> I dare say I've accomplished a few oh, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy Alright Get the hell out of here This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it Apparently there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms oh, yeah, include oh, yeah, oh, an unruly yeah. attitude and overconfidence. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. Put that sort of way before we accidentally pleasant. summon we the slapping. What's up, John? What's up, Nova? Come take a look. You'll be glad. All right. I'm just trying to get rid of everything that needs to be sold. I don't need that hat. I think she can Indeed. actually wear that kerchief. And they don't have anything because I just resummon them. Okay, well, let's take her too. Do come again. 
No purchases to be made. All right, there. She's got a little kerchief as well as her Today I see. <coughs> regular I helmet. Shopkeep understands. Dying. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch. All right, where do we need to go? Somewhere really far away, I'm pretty sure. I don't know exactly where, though. In. Journey to Batal. Holy Jesus, yeah, that's... How the hell do I get there? My case. It's down here. That seems like a really long journey. We've been to the checkpoint rest town, which seems close. So we could ride to the checkpoint rest town again, and then we could go from there. Um, the checkpoint rest town was this entrance over here. There's a ladder here. After you arisen. Yeah, up here. I think this uh this ox cart takes me to the checkpoint rest town. To if the I, chest. If I can ever get there. I shall take a look inside. Oh, thank you for my potato. Mmm, papato. Alright, let's see if they're heading out right now. This ox cart's... I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Let's go, buddy. And now we take a nap. Last time I tried to take an ox cart to checkpoint rest down, I got attacked by a griffin, a troll, and a minotaur all at the same time. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that rim goes to waste. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Well, that was easy. Back to dozing. You woke me up for this. We'll pull through yet. I'm unsure how best to proceed. You are unsure how best to proceed. Well, I'm sorry. All right, so from here. We've just got to travel south. So take this road, travel south all the way to Batal, Batalalalal, or whatever it is. Batali Ali Atsan Free. Is it this road? No, it's the main road. So directly behind me. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but in the end, we never did attend the coronation. I hope never to experience the like of that sensation again. Well, 
Pawns are weird. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the main road. <coughs> Alright, so it looks like there's an ox cart there at the end of this main road. Maybe that'll take us to Batal. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Okay. Lord Phasus is come! Oh, Open the gates. that's the guy. That's the guy that was at the place with the guy with the thing and the thing and the thing. That's the that's the bad guy. Ooh, that's the bad, bad, bad. That's the bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, 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 bad. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Oi! This isn't yours. Do you take me for a fool? Present your own permit, or I'll have you thrown in jail! I was standing here, eh? So we need somebody that's going to help us get through. Hmm. Looking to get an entry first, he'll sweep you a look from head to toe. Then he'll ask that how you present yourself when visiting someone and slam the door in your face. That pawns. You'd think he'd know not to expect noble manners from us common folk. My only object is to live to a ripe old age. We've naught to discuss. Why not? What do ye want? What do ye want? <laughs> what do ye want? I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. I wonder if I could just glitch my way through the gate. Let's give it a try. We, we might be able to just glitch our way through the gate. You might be asking, well, how do you glitch yourself through the gate? Well, sometimes when a cutscene happens or when something blocks you, if you're standing in the pathway of the object as it's moving, you can have the object force you through the gate. It might work, maybe. You just gotta want it badly enough. So, you seek to enter Batal, I presume? Leave this place at once! You have <laughs> There's no way this is going to work. Is it going to work? It's going to work. Oh, God. It's going to work. It's going to work, boys. It's going to work, boys. It's working. It's working. We're going to get it through. We're going to sneaky. So sneaky! 
Oh, they never saw me going. They I never saw me. I grant you fire's blade. Use it well. Oh, oh, oh. I made it, I made it. Run, run, run. You'll never catch me alive, Batman! Brother. Oh, it's just getting warmed up. You'll never catch me alive, Batman. You'll never catch me alive. Baron's childhood home. They're trying to murder me. Stop trying to murder me. Come on, let's go. No murder. We do not want the murder. Okay. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Okay. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your crew to visit the Rock Mouse's burrow in Black Bazaar. Uh huh. Okay. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Hey, it's the knacker horn. I need that to upgrade one of my items. Poor Griffin. Oh, fire. Lightening up his arse. <laughs> Ow. Stepped on me. Okay. Just random Griffin attack. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the word. Ow. Okay. Level 26, level 26. Still don't got a heart, but I'm level 26. Dragon tried to eat my face, 26. 
come on down. I'm level 26. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? Band of knackers! Fire won't do much to you. Best try to think You roaring flame. I grant you death so that you can die. Congratulations, you have died. What's up, Sean? Is that a shrine? Whoever thought to build it in such a place? What shrine? It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? What are those harpy bones down there? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. There's a dragon down there. Oh dear. That's a whole butt dragon. That is a whole dragon down there. I kind of want to go kick his butt. How do I get down there? One though? can see well into the distance from here. Would that our strength might be restored simply by gazing upon the site. Oh lord, we're going to do it. We're going to fight a dragon, y'all. We're going to fight a dragon. sure there's a dragon right around this corner. Now there's a novel idea. I've never seen my own master attempt such a feat. Unbelievable. Yes, sir. This should help. He can fly. Ow! Bitey McGee! He's a biter. This one's a biter. He's definitely a biter. Holy Jesus! My grandma could beat this dragon? Well, that's just terrible. I don't like oh, I don't like this.
No, I need more juice, health juice. No, he's got me in his grass. No! He's gonna bite my head off! No! Defend, defend! Ow, he's so mean. Trying to hit him in the heart meats. Hit him in the heart meats, boys. Stab him right in the heart meats and don't let him do nothing. Keep on stabbing in the heart meats. Keep on stabbing in the heart meats. Oh, it closed up. Open back up. That was your foot on my neck. I need a heal, girls. Where's he going? No, we, we're fighting here. Where are you leaving? You're just leaving. Did he just left? Boy. I can't believe... That he just left like that. That is so rude. It's dark now. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Would that such tranquility could last? How long we've been fighting this dragon? Supposed to so. See, that's the problem with the flying ones. They can just fly away. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Is that him over here? I hear something. Oh. Poor little ogre. I just fought a dragon ogre. I ain't scared of you. Oh, I was defending. He's gonna bite me. He's mean. What is he doing? I don't even know what the hell he is doing. Oh, hello, uh, snakes. I mean, uh, snake people. Many poison snakes. Ah, eh, eh, eh.
rid of this troll and then we'll move forward. Yeah, there's even more of the poison ones over here. Let's get rid of this guy first. Where the hell did he go? on the ground. Stab him. Don't let him back up. My dear Lord Jesus. We pulled through in the end. Yeah. The there, yeah, we did. We would not. Considering the might of our combined. Why would they do not poison you? This guy will recoil from the HP so low because I've taken so much damage. Even with heals, Master, they don't go up very I'm not far. Sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I fear for our chances if we were to be set upon now. Yeah, we're pretty much done. We need a campfire. I could lead you to a nearby campsite if you'd like. I learned of its location in another world. This way? Okay, well, let's go. Scale. That was outstanding, if I do say so myself. Our combined might is beyond any foe. Lay down your arms. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Arisen, have you been harmed? Yeah, I'm getting shot in the face. Arisen, have you been harmed? Yeah. Stop him from shooting me in the eyeball. How about that? It's like a campsite. Allow me to open your chest. Lay down your arms. Nicely done. Nice of you to say so. their mage. Let's 
No, well, I thought I saw a campfire over here. Maybe I was wrong. blow yourself up? Is that what just happened? That was amazing. There is a campfire here. Okay, I must have missed it. It's on the map. There's a dead body here. It's got question marks on it like I can do something with it, but it doesn't want to do anything. Whatever, I can wait. Let's cook up a scrag of beast meat. an hour fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Mm-hmm. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm- Oh, Master's a magnanimous sort. Letting us sup on fine meats before a heartening fire. You can bask in the warmth of the fire and throw fire wood on the fire. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Okay. Should we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. Shall we get underway? The fact that you can just chuck people like that is hilarious. Just pick people up and throw them. Well, I almost killed that dragon, and I'm kind of upset that he got away. I don't know where he went to. Probably somewhere up in the mountains, that would be my guess. the other one go gathering materials makes for dull work indeed yes master I shall hasten to your aid stay with me arisen wait right there there's some sort of a vent down here wait till you get caught by your uh by your <laughs> your female pawn. It's all rather oh, hilarious. Statue, 
We might use these statues as landmarks. Waste our strength. This must be the end. Mercy. Thanks, I suppose. Take this. I'll not remain in your debt. Some dried meat and twenty four hundred gold. Okay. So where the hell do you think this dragon went? Like he had to have gone up into the mountains, right? I mean, he flew. In world, he flew like up I that way. That a forgotten rift stone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, master? <laughs> Banging me in the corner. I mean, why the hell was there a random old woman walking down a river bank, lighting a whole bunch of wolves in the first place? I just think if you were a random old woman in a world like this, you'd be freaking, uh, you know, somewhere safer, like your house. Copperstone. I want you to buy his place. Use it well. Good thing there's no friendly fire, otherwise I'd be dead about 20 times over. Necker horns. I need necker horns for upgrading my Over equipment. So soon? Why? Come through unscathed. No doubt this will spur us into the next. Hmm. There's a doojank over there. We should go check that out. What the hell is this? It is a chest. I shall take a look inside. I'm playing the fighter class. Um, I was thinking about going two-handed though here in a little bit. I need to get myself a really nice two-handed sword. So, I'm beginning to get. Hey, Arisen. If battle cannot be avoided, just fight or die. No, the Arisen has been poisoned. Yep, I think this is where I get my poison pinions. I need those too. I need to seek out some harpy nests, looks like. Perhaps 
Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for our Aught lies yonder, what might it be? Now there's a thought. Aught lies yonder? What kind of hint is that? Aught lies yonder. Way down yonder on the auto hoochie didn't know what that muddy water meant to me. There was something aught on the water you see. There was a snake and a turtle for me. Sounds like there's a big boy around here somewhere. I can hear him. How? Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly find. Oh yeah. Boss fight. Can you toss me a heal, please? What are you doing up there? Dancing back and forth. I dance my pawns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I dance my pawns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Don't tell me what to do. I will dance my pawns for you. I dance my pawns, my pawns, uh, my pawns back and forth. There we go. I didn't name my healer. No, that's uh. So you get you get one pawn that's yours. My There's pawn's name is Gina. Is um, the other well, ones are necessarily time wasted. basically ones that you just hire from like a a list. campsite it's also a ladder up there we need to get that ladder and I know just how to do it oh darn no Oh, I can't chuck high enough. Hold on. That was not what I meant to do. Come on. Come here. Can I? Oh, I can't get him high enough. I can't toss you high enough. Well, there we go. Nope. <laughs> that was not. That was not good. She's not going to be happy with me. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Oh, looks like I can go this way. Check whether there's aught nearby. Eyes peeled. Watch your backs. Let my magic consume your weapon with the fury of the elements.
bonks. Oh my dear lord, jeez! So many of them. Yeah, dang. Oh, maxed out my rank. Nice. Poison pinions, slate colored arms. Beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Yeah, yeah. Shall I'm, I take us there? No, I'm not interested. Ciao. It's always daunting to venture into the unknown. What's that? Ah, blobs! Ah, the blobs! Burn it! Burn it with fire! Burn the blob! Burn it! Burn the blob! My curative magics are at your disposal. Oily slime. Was impeccably timed, Arisen. Burn it, burn it. Dappledore? I need some Dappledore to upgrade my Dujinx. No, of course not. No. Hmm. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? You will work, slave! Ring of Disfavor. What the hell is a Ring of Disfavor? A ring that emanates a direful impulse increases the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Oh, okay. So it's a taunt ring. It's a ring of tauntliness. What two rings does my girl have on? She's got... Uh, boost magic. Okay, we don't... She doesn't need that. Oh, wait, wait. Dang it. That was not mine. Stagger and maximum health. Okay, so what do I got that could, she could potentially use? I feel bad. I took away the person's ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Alright, so this one only just slightly increases her health. So not really too crazy.
Can't she equip it? Oh, I gotta be in the equipment panel. Was it cursed or something? Oh, I'm in combat. That's what it is. I'll click 17 more times. You don't tell me how many times to click, you clickety-clickers. You clicky-clicky-clicker. You click and click and clicker. Why you gotta click so hard, you click and click and clacker. I don't know why you click so hard, clicking all the time. Every time you click, you gotta make a rhyme. You click and click and clicker. I don't know why you do. Why you gotta be a click and clicker clacker too. Clicking, clacker, clicker, I'm gonna click for you. We got a clicking, clacking, clicking, clicking, clacking glue. Click it about ten times and then we click it more. And when we are done, we click it out the door. Then we open the door back up and go back inside and click it a few more times just to make sure it's not really there. And we click it, click it, click it, and click it, click it, click. And then we tell our dog that he needs to click and click. I hope this serves to convey my appreciation. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. And then we train the cat to click too, because the cat can do be clicking and clicking with the mouse number two. We hook up three mice and have it all along, and all the animals are clicking right along. I don't know why my green screen is so messed up. I gotta just do it. I do 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 do. <clears throat> the world is going nuts and reality is tearing. I would appreciate it if you would stop being mean. Eating chicken tonight. Put that down right there. We're gonna eat some chicken. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna eat some chicken. Uh, this seems a decent spot for a campsite. Hey, hey, you guys well, over there. Would you like some chicken? I got one. some chicken. You don't want no chicken? Okay, no chicken for them. They said. How about rocks? Are you guys a rock? Do you like rocks? Oh, 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 oh. And then it falls. Chicken. We gotta make some chicken. We got some dried meats. What happens when you cook dried meat? Oh, okay. I mean, it still looks pretty good. I'm all for swapping stories. But perhaps another night? I can scarce keep my eyes open. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover if we continue on our journey. Big butter chicken? What? Big butter chicken, chicken, big butter chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. <coughs> I see there's a bunch of them poison saurians down there. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. I don't know why you're shooting lightning bolts down there. What'd they do to y'all? They were swimming peacefully. Ooh, what is this? Copper stone, southern iron. Noise. <laughs> you can tell they're getting ready to fight. They just start throwing down freaking... Like, it hits with spells, my weapon starts glowing, lightning freaking starts raining from the sky. I suppose it is so. Hey, we finally found the dragon. We found the dragon again, boys. He's fully recovered, though. Trying to get these guys out of the way first before we start fighting the dragon. The fight's already hard enough without having a bunch of smaller monsters just like ripping you to shreds the entire time while you're trying to fight the bigger monster. about to die. The Arisen is about to die. And I don't think I got no heal or heals left. I kind of used them all. I used them all. me did. He bit me in the face. That was not very nice. That's not very nice. That was not very nice. You know what? I was trying to stab him too, but still. I mean, he didn't have to single me out like that. We're off to the tavern then. The Rock Mountain Sparrow, was it? Do people really need reminders not to stare directly at the sun? you there if you wish. Do not stare directly Where at the sun. Do insist. not pass go. Do not collect $200. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. 
My dad, when I was younger, he was like, don't stare at the sun, it'll melt your eyes out. I mean, your eyes won't get melted out, but it certainly won't be good for you. No more or less than what one might have expected. Care for us! Ash Venom is closing! This boat will recoil from the ground! No doubt this triumph will spur us into okay. the next. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. The chance you'd like to see it. Let's go over here. See if we can fight these wolves without fighting the dragon at the same time. Pity up all our rhythm. If you please. Drag on, drag on, drag on, drag on, drag on, drag on. Save it right before we fight the dragon. Let's go! Dragon time is a dragon time. Gotta fight, fight the dragon time. Dragon is a dragon time. Gotta fight big monster dragon. Meanie, meanie dragon, him so mean. Gotta stab him right in his spleen. Ow! He dropped a crystal? Get that heart. Gotta stab him in the heart meats. It's the only thing worth stabbing. There we go. Pity of all our risen.
Holy Jesus. I even blocked that. I even blocked that. He just ripped me out of a freaking new butthole. Put your finger in his bum. I don't even know if he has a bum. He might not have a bum. That's you guys are. You don't know. Like you don't. Would you, do you got the anatomy of dragons on file? I came to know Maybe he doesn't have a bum. The chance you'd like to see it. Girl, I'm, there's a dragon in front of us. Can you can you calm down your finger pointing? I think this dragon is rough. Trying to crawl to his heart beats. It's not working. It's hard to determine your crawling location.
Dead. Dead. Dag nabbit. Dag nabbit. All right, we're getting we're getting better at fighting him, but the dragon's really OP. Kind of wish I had gone into this with full HP because I don't have full HP from the start. You put your money on the dragon. That's Shall terrible. We do as that person had suggested? You're supposed to be on my side, Charles. <laughs> Come on, get it. God dang, I'm getting my booty cheek smack. Booty cheek, booty cheek, booty cheek smack. Booty cheek, booty cheek, booty cheek smack. Booty cheek, booty cheek, booty cheek smack. Smacking them booty cheeks, booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Booty, 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 booty cheeks. God, I can't see nothing. We can ill and force the rush head on the back. Let us squash our throat carefully to protect our best friend. I'm below wounded. Pity our poor old resin. Um. Oh, God. Don't eat me now. Look, I'm going to eat this quince. It's delicious. I seem to have found an exploit. A very weird exploit, but an exploit nonetheless. So what exploit did I find? It's a really silly one. Basically, if you die you have a brief period of time after you die to open up your inventory and just eat something doesn't matter what it is just anything and if you eat anything before the game registers you as dead you literally just <laughs> you, you gain that little bit of health back and then you don't die it's actually kind of funny I wonder if there's anything I can use to help myself out here Almost one of the uh, okay. Oh yeah, hold on. 
Do we have any arrows to give the girl? Let's give her all the arrows that I could give her. minute I still had HP. That was weird. I guess for my exploiting. <laughs> Make sure I bring the Dragon Slayer sword. I probably should bring the Dragon Slayer sword. I probably Shall should. Shall we do as that person had suggested and make for the Rock Mouse's borough? Pray. Allow me to show you. Okay. I can get the dragon to the flying phase relatively easily. I think we've got to, from this point, we got to figure out the flying phase. I'm trying to figure out while Diamond Eat, while, why Dominique, my sorcerer, is uh, over there climbing on the dragon. Mm, that was a terrible one. I did terrible. I did so bad. I did so bad. So bad. Shall we do as that personage suggested and make for the Rock Mouse's borrow? Then follow me. I'll lead the way. Now we were trying to He killed me four times in a row. Four times in a row he killed me. Shall we do as that person had suggested and make for the Rock Mouse's borough? The Rock Mouse's Burrow. There's a ring I have that helps against fire. I can't equip or uh, unequip anything at the moment for some reason. It must be because I'm in combat. Pray, allow me to show you the way. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. I don't understand why my HP is so low. Usually when you reload the game, you reload the state that you were in, which should beef your HP back up.
But it feels like my HP is lower than it should be. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Let's take a quick rest at the uh, at the campfire up here, and then go back and try this again. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. Let's try this again. Alright, so fully rested. HP is at full. Now we go back down and we try and fight this guy again. Of course, as soon as we rest up, all the monsters come back too. Which means now we gotta clear out all the trash I again. What if he's mostly just gristle? What if he's mostly just gristle meat? Pitiable arisen. You throw a heal up here. I've just recalled. I found it. I've just recalled. I don't Treasure care. Chestnut. Here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? I tried to block it too, but I was too late. Caught in the corner trying to res, and he freaking flame breathed me while I was in the corner, too. That's what I get. That's what I get. You know what? That's what I get. I deserve it. I deserve. I deserve. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. 
perchance you'd like to see it. I deserve that. I will stab your toes. And I will stab your toes, and I will keep stabbing your toes, and I don't care. I'm also, you know what? You're going to have the most effed up toes. I'm dead. Locked him, but it took all my stamina away. That might be the end of me. Unfortunately, when your stamina runs out, there's really not much you can do to save yourself. It's pretty rough. And if he gets you locked in a freaking fire breath, silent hearted arisen. to use it hurts some of you guys got anything for me to use <laughs> there's no food anybody nobody's got any food eat the glass eat a rock eat anything what do you got in here for eating eat a bee skin they're delicious I don't think that's going to make him... I think he's going to be happy about that, Charles. This save system is really I weird. I, found a treasure. I think the save system allows you to consume certain items. May I show you to its location? Oh my god, if you don't shut up about that damn treasure chest. Let my 
Got me in the fire roofs. He got me in the fire roofs. Shove some fruit in your face. I said, shove some fruit in your face. Pity up all our reds. That boy can use some spells, can he? I hate how they do that. He wiggles around and then you end up on the other side of him somehow. I don't even know how that happens. I gotta get up there and stab him. Unfortunate. It's kinda difficult to do, to be honest. Bring the fire breath over here. I ain't got no stamina. I ain't got no life. Eat that raw meat. Put it in your mouth and shut up. Eat another raw meat. Put that in your mouth and shut up.
finish this. I hate how he does that. Like, I'm literally on the right side attacking him from the right side, and then he just, like, wiggles, and all of a sudden I'm on the wrong side. He's down to three HP pools. That's a big attack. hit me. I feel like it was my teammate that hit me. Like, I don't know for sure, but it felt like it was my teammate. Because I was behind. I wasn't in front. We're down to two pips. save it in the middle of a fight? I really doubt it. No, you can't. I didn't think you could. Oh, I die a lot while reviving. I gotta be careful. a big spell. We gotta be careful. Oh, dang it. No! I was so freaking close! So freaking close. God bless it. I was like right there. I only had like one or two more HP bars to go. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest Ugh. in this area. Look at that half HP like to, to start out with. So this is what I keep running into. I, I've got like, every time I load back in, my HP, my ma max HP is a little bit lower than it was the previous time that I loaded in. And it just keeps getting a little bit worse every single time I go to fight the dragon. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to and then before too long, I'm fighting the dragon with basically, like, no hit points to start out with. And it, like, by the time I'm done, I have no hit points. Like, don't get me wrong. But I don't want no hit points at the start of the fight. Dude, he freaking rushed up on me and then body slammed me. Didn't have much choice there. Let's see if I can change this ring to the fire resistance ring too. I keep I keep trying to do it, but it won't let me do it. Looks like you can only Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna change uh... 
All right, let's put this on my left hand. All right, one more camp. Let's do this. We're getting close. Seven hours later. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Okay, we're back to full HP. Let's go fight the dragon. I'll go and open the chest. I'm getting the hang of this fight. It's just, it's taking me a little bit. He's a little he's a rough. It's a rough fight. really early for a flight. Okay. Coming back down, buddy? Or no? Now you come down. Right when I'm not ready. A curative fortitude. Focus. A moment of indecision. It's taken her so long to cast that healing spell. Honestly thought it was never coming. for the wiggle. Yeah, we're getting some good damage output. Alright, let's assume it's going to counter offense. Looks like we got magic. Big spell. Alright, he repaired it. Fire again. 
go for the back legs for right now. Just any damage is good damage for the moment. His heart's not open yet anyway. Blocking. Oh, or is he up? Okay, is he up? I can't tell if he's up or if he's just being a dupe. Okay, he's casting a big spell. He's casting a big spell. Okay. Heart's open, but he's up in the air, so I can't do anything about it. Heal. God bless it, heal. He's too high for me to grab his tail this time. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, there we go. He's back down. All right. Is he down? Almost. Almost down. No, he's back up in the flight. Lightning. Taking any chances since he grabbed me, he's gonna throw me into the dirt. Let's use a couple of foods real quick. He closed it up. He opened it back up. What the hell's going on? Okay, back up, wait for the wiggle. Back in. Keep stabbing that heart meats. Big breath. Oh, he's doing the shouts, okay. I gotta kill all my stamina recover in between these hits. Put a heal up, come on. Don't stand on ceremony with it. Just put. I'm Thank you. Put the heal up. Thank you. Big boy attack. Gotta run. That's the explosions. Yeah. Got me. That one killed me. Very close. Very close. Rizzin up, rizzin up, rizzin up, rizzin up. Block it, block it, block it.
Yes, he's down. Get him, get him, get him. All right, watch out for the wiggle. Watch out for the wiggle. Back it up. Get back in there. He's got one HP bar left after this one. One more, one more. We can do it, we can do it. All right, let's not get greedy. We're almost there. Big boy shouts, I see. Uh-oh. I think I might be dead. I don't got enough stamina to outrun this bomb. Well, one of us died. Not both of us. Alright. Let's get in there and start slicing. Slice, 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 slice. Gonna do the slice and dice. Chop them toes up really nice. Let them know what we gotta do. Chop them toes into two. Gonna make it so you got 20 toes instead of 10. Right, how many toes you got? Four? Four toes. You got four toes. Get that big, ah, oh, block it, block it, block it. That's the big boy attack. Woo! I'm running out of stamina. He's going to get me with this one. Unfortunately, once you start running low on stamina, there's really not much you can do. Okay, this is a big boy strike. I got to back it up. Three, two, one, sprint. Three, two, sprints. We did it! Punk ass dragon in you. Get a punk ass dragon. You your punk ass dragon. That's why ain't nobody likes you. That's why ain't nobody likes you. Cause you a punk, punk it, punk, dragon, punk. Just take me right in your punk, dragon heart, and your little punk. Eh. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but. Ooh, dragon scale. In this party are women all. And yet, during my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have. Dragon tacos. Shall I take us there? Oh, we thought we just killed a dragon. Can we? Can we focus? <laughs> you standing on the dragon's head while you pointing in the direction you want me to go. Calm Gathering your tits. Makes for dull work indeed. Hit the horn, maybe it'll drop a horn. There could be stuff all over the place. A lot of the times in this game, when you're fighting a monster, they'll drop stuff as you're fighting them, like you knock off horns and, and things like that. I might need to look around, make sure that I didn't knock anything off while I was in the middle of that fight. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and save it now that we killed the, the, the Dragon. We killed the Dragon. That's the Dragon, 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 killing all the Dragons. Ooh, is that Dragon Poop? Is that dragon poop? That's dragon poop, isn't it? Mm. That's dragon poop. That's the poop of a dragon. What's this over here? A new place to explore. Let's see what it has to offer. Ah, it's always bats. I Stop trying to eat my face. The first sign of trouble. The same boat again. Okay, so what do we get from that? Uh, we got. A dragon scale. The scale of a draconic creature can be used to enhance equipment. Uh, we also got worms life crystals. The crystallized blood of a dragonic creature. Got 16 of those used to upgrade equipment. Okay. Ah, see, I learned my lesson last time. Those little spiders look cute and furry, but they come and they walk up to you real slow and then they try and bite you and they're mean. So don't fall for the cute little furry spider act. 
you know, not that you guys would fall for the cute little furry spider egg, but but I did. Come he was walking up to me so slow. He was like, he was like, what's up, guys? I'm coming over to say hi. What's up? How about you take that? Now you ain't even care nothing about that, did you? Oh God, you're gonna blow up! Don't blow up! Okay. Okay, that hurt. Why are they so explodey? That's the question. Why are you so explodey? Yeah, throw it down. Yeah, I knew that was coming. We must steer clear of fire. Immediately uses a flamethrower. Immediately uses a flamethrower because that's apparently what you want to do. Yeah. Thanks to you, Arisen. Yeah. Maybe, you know, because you used a flamethrower while we were fighting a monster made of oil. You know, it might have it's been the dumbest thing you've ever done. Of my strength just to remain standing. Will this march never end? We really ought to take a moment to catch our breath. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. What the hell is this place? Everything explodes. Everything. I, enjoy tackling I don't want to talk to you. I want to res the person on the dirt. Yes, master. I shall hasten to your aid. Yeah, throw a heal down. Come on. Everybody get in here. Group hug. We'll pug it up. Because we got idiots in our party that keep making things explode. worthless but that's as much as i can say for it it is a dismal feeling to be disappointed so utterly stay down and don't get back up you're undead you're supposed to be dead you're not supposed to be undead you're supposed to be dead 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 in some sort of necropolis, I guess. Ow! It's a crawler! The crawler just killed me. That's amazing. Can you, can I, can we, can I, can you, 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 can I. Ow! Why are you biting me? <laughs> stupid zombies and your stupid lust for brains. Brains. 
Let me save you some trouble. I have no brains. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that was an exploding barrel. I didn't look like an exploding barrel. What is this, Diablo 2? With exploding barrels? Oracular Veil. What the hell is that? A ceremony veil covers the mouth? Shrouding with lips is vital for conjurers or illusions who will seek to melt into the shadows. Hmm. Apparently it's a mage, sorcerer, and a, an a, a unidentified class. Witness your magics. They're they they burn my eyes. Cinnamon bark, bulgarous lord. God, there's zombies everywhere in this place. Be high five and everything. All right, I think we're done with this place. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of Zombie Land over here. What's up, Mortuna? That's right, believe. Alright, we need to get to this new city. Uh, that was the goal before we found the dragon. And then once we found the dragon, it was... It was, a uh, you know, kind of... We had a whole lot of trouble time having fun, you know, murdering stuff. And there's, there's a lot of murdering. We did a healthy... We did a healthy amount of murdering. But, you know... It's not our fault, alright? Hey, look, we're back on the road. Okay, so, uh... Right, what, this way? Yeah, looks like this way leads us back toward the main During road. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there? Let's go. What are you guys waiting for? Holy Jesus! All of a sudden, three goblins jumped on my head. In sequence, no less. Very well timed. Okay, I believe it's this way. This 
seems a decent spot for a campsite. Could be a fine spot to rest. We have need of one. Let's take a quick rest at the campsite while we're here. What are we gonna have to cook? Rotten scrag meat? Ugh. What does it look like when you cook rotten meat? Oh. Not the healthiest looking meat, that's for sure. Mm, here you go, guys. <laughs> you know, like a feast to get you ready for bed. Yeah, a feast of agree. rotten meat. Mm, Best we delicious. We our strength before we set off again. You guys can have. You know, you guys can have my share. I'm not hungry. Freshly rested as we are. This battle ought to be a Try not to get hit. Lest all that bim Is there some reason why you don't want to attack me? Why are you guys being rude? Oh, I see you up there. Don't think I don't see you. I got a skill just for you. I grant you You thought you was cute sitting on top of this rock. But you won't. You won't cute. There was no cuteness. Cheeky. A little cheeky. There was a little cheek. Batal Ropeway Station 2. hell is this and where am I going? I like it. What the hell is that? We ought to quit the field ere the option is taken from us. When our curatives run out, we're done for. I'm not sure what to tell you. But if the. Let me use the trick. Oh, I can't eat anything? Oh no. No, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead, I did. There's a big rock monster down there. I haven't fought a rock monster yet. I got excited. I jumped off the thing because there's a rock monster down there. I want to fight the rock monster. Rock monster, gotta fight the rock monster. Rock monster, 
Gotta fight the rock monster. There's the monster of the rock. The rock monster rock. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. One of us has been poisoned. What the hell are you guys fighting down here? Like, where, why are you in the water? See, and this is why we can't have nice things. Because y'all don't pay attention to where we're going, and you just go wherever you want to go. Oh my god, I'm tired of getting stabbed from both directions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Griffin. As you wish, I shall return directly. We have a choice of where to go, but how to know the path best travel? Do we decide based on our experience or trust to our instincts? Letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. I grant you fire play. Use it well. Thanks, I suppose. I've got to thank you somehow, don't I? Okay. Let's find this rock monster. Rock monster, rock monster, let's find the rock monster, rock monster, rock monster, let's find the rock monster. Mean doggies. Me. Would you mind coming over here? Why is he running? Oh, here's the rock monster, isn't it? That's it, isn't it? That's the monster of the rock. Ooh, we get to fight the rock monster. He must be already activated because we can't save it. Oh, there he is. There he is. There him he is. Talifo!
Did she really just say look out arisen or under attack? What's a bigger threat than the big giant golem that's literally murdering us? Oh great, the griffin's here too. There's two of them? Okay. Uh, good luck on actually resing anybody when I have this boy shooting frickin' laser beams into my eyeball. And then the other guy just shot laser beams and blasted me back in the other direction. That's amazing. Res, 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 res. Looks like there's one on his arm. Oh, okay. Snatchy. Eat a rotten heart, bud. Snow, the arisen has been poisoned. Much obliged. Take one to cover. Ow, uh, my forehead. Uh, what are the chances that there would be two of them and a griffin? So I was literally fighting like three monsters at one time. I think if it was just the one, I would have had it. And maybe even if it was just the two, I would have had it. But it was two and a griffin, which didn't really Shall make things easy. Suggested and make for the rock mouse's burrow. Uh, follow me, master. I shall guide you to the location. Is this, is this the second one? Lightning is its weakness. Our strength. Oh, freaking hell, random goblin. Does more damage than the freaking stone golem. Yeah. 
And the random goblin comes in, and he's going to kill me, too. A random goblin in the middle of the fight. A random goblin just got thrown in the air. That was beautiful. Um, there's plenty more to get. It's not just gear, it's also upgrading the equipment to the highest tier. I still got plenty of plenty of room to go on that. There's the second one over there. I grunt who files blaze. I want to grant myself, please don't die. Where is it? Are you alright? <laughs> the boy just squished me into the dirt. The boy just squished me into the dirt again. Nope, don't let him touch the ground. Eat a fish. Um, my HP is so low, everything is killing me. I think the last one is on the bottom of his foot. Ah, frickin' Jerp Drew stepped on my face, little ugly little turd. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I lost it again. I don't have any uh I don't have any heals and he just he just smashed me into the dirt and Unless they've got a heal. Pillywalt. We got some pillywalts. Goodbye, Arisen. Okay. I think I've learned something from this, though. Um, and what I've learned from this is is you have to take out all the medallions. Some of the medallions are easier to get to than others. During the end of the fight, when he's raging, having ridiculously hard to get to medallions left as your last couple medallions is probably not a good idea. So... 
instead of leaving the really hard ones for last, we're going to do the really hard ones first, and we'll leave the really easy ones for last, uh, if we can. I don't know if they're going to let me do that, but that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on that one on his arm first, um, and also the one that's under his foot. There's one that he shows right there. He shows it under his foot. This one's hard to get to, so we're going to get this one first. Show off that foot. I want to. I'm, I'm gonna leave that one on the back of his leg till super last if I can. They're probably not gonna let me, but. All right, let's go for the one on his arm real quick. Get your stamina back. I think I popped his head off. I saw his head fly off. Why, why, why is there always one of you guys around in the middle of these fights? I swear. Every single time I turn around, I'm going to probably die to you, freaking too. Yep. Shows up. They always show up in the middle of the freaking fights while you're fighting the biggest boss in the world underneath of the boss's toes and they're just in there swinging their sword at you. Dear Lord Jesus, put your shield up. And they catch you at the worst possible moments too and they just start laying the smack down on you. Okay, almost died. And there's another one. Hey, that's the dappled ore we need for our upgrading our item. Alright, well, uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, so now we gotta kill the second one. Let's go kill number two. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly apply. Oh, she used the she used the poison heal, not the heal heal. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Another encounter? I feel like this. We are always on press from our previous
up top. Let's go. God dang. Get your stupid little golden butt over here. Get it. Hate you, Golem. Golem down. Simply ask me to sell off your surplus items. I'll have the gold for you in a over here, if you please. If you don't get the hell out of my face. All right, um, we got dappled ore, we got copperstone ore, we got the magic medallions, which are like spread all over the place like candy. Yep, look, there's another one right there. Speaking of which, the pawns in this party are women all, and I've no objections. Now oh. there's a worthy prize. It's a chest. If only to end so far away. Feels like 50 FOV. I think I changed the FOV up actually, but that was a pretty fun golem fight. I'm not gonna lie. I like that a lot. Would you mind coming over here? Oh my god, you're always popping out of corners. I don't like your stupid butt faces. I'm about to die over here again. I ain't got enough HP for this. Oh, okay. Just pick me up and throw me. Rude. Y'all is rude. Oh my dear Lord Jesus! <laughs> did, did you see that? Oh, they got me too. I think they got me. I don't have any heals left. I'm pretty much completely out of heals. Anybody? 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 Yep, I'm dead. There's a setting to pull the camera back further. <coughs> Perhaps me should see. Shall we do as that personage suggested and make for the rock mouse's burrow? Pray, allow me to show you the way. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Okay, we need to go stay at this camp over here real quick. Like that's we kind of don't have a choice. We're so we're so badly injured that we pretty much have no choice but to go camp out. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. 
explore. Shall I take us there? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Ogre. Like, you're cute and all, but I really need a nap before I go fighting anything, okay? Just give me a nap. It's not a big deal. Let's bask in the warmth of the flames, guys. Adding that firewood. Adding that firewood. Basking in the warmth of the firewood. And some firewood. Gonna add firewood. Gonna add firewood. All the fire freaking wood. And in all that wood. Got no meat. Got no food. Just gonna starve. Got no things. But I got firewood because I got plenty. Put it in the flames. There. Everybody nice and warm. Good, let's go sleep. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Game of Thrones universe? No. This universe is weird. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Okay. Off we go then. I hope you slept well. An ogre popped out of here. It is a strange sort that ventures willingly into darkness. Oh, it's not. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. You're soaked! Do you try not to catch cold. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Sand pattern camping kit. Okay, somebody said something about a command to. Uh, is that a secret? Is finding these oh, be so difficult. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! Okay. Hmm. Where are we going from here? Have oh, you okay. Gotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. I'm not lost. I'm just going in the direction I'm supposed to go. Letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Don't throw him off the mountain. I need to loot him.
Why, hello, Griffin. You know, they certainly don't make this game easy, I tell you what. What is this, the aerial bots battle? Don't fly away with my healer. Just fell off. He said, oops. Oh my god, you are the worst. Just we need I'm so tired of being picked up and thrown. Can't even make it back to the fight. down griffin down griffin down boys griffin down that only took way too much work where where I was I even going like half the time the fights are so long and so ridiculous like griffins and golems and dragons and freaking and like I don't even know where the hell I'm going anymore not be too careful. Shall I assist? Aw, oh, they broke it. You seem to have been chilled. Are you alright? did they even come from? Like, what the ham biscuit? Now here's all of interest. I was trying to Melissa. fire this thing. Allow me. Might I be of assistance? Time it better, time it better. It's got a slow time. Mm, seems to drop off pretty bad. One whom I serve preferred to have beast strengths for allies. Be sure to keep that in mind.
My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to crop. I'm not interested. What is this for? Oh, it's the basket. Doesn't help us though, because the basket is uh, going the wrong direction. Built to carry freight, we need this one. By the looks of it. Shall we hop on? We needn't let our feet do all the work. We need this one. Actually, hold on. Um, that one goes in the wrong direction entirely. That one goes backwards. That one goes in the wrong direction. I think this is the one that actually goes toward the city, which is where we're trying to go. I shall not fail you. I would gladly be obeyed, Arisen. No, oh, there it is. We can travel in style. something won't you no oh. velvet cape a feather shawl bear cloak moon howl cape murky grouse feather cloak Stargazer's garb, ring of cooling. Huh. It's like these are mainly for resistances to certain elements. I hope to have a shop of my own someday. Hope to see you again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just uh, hope the shopkeeper. Everybody get out. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. Oh yeah, somebody said there was an option in the thing for a further camera. Let's take a look. Camera distance. Oh, hell yeah. That would be nice. Let's see how well that works. Probably not going to change while I'm on this thing.
<laughs> the bubble for healing is what is in the air, not on the platform, so we just flew by it. Okay, well, we are at some sort of village. They got shops here. What did I, uh, do to be Business could be better. Yes. Patient one arisen. Yes. No time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Yes. Hi. Is there all you require, sir? So this must be the town entrance. Bach Batal. Capital of Batal. Noise. We are in Bakbatal. Beg pardon, sir, but you wouldn't happen to be Batali, would you? You're not? Oh, thank goodness. I, I have a favor to beg, and I dare say I oughtn't ask it of anyone but a fellow Vermundian. This letter must reach the hands of a man called Ernesto. I've heard tell he's stationed on Volcanic Island, but the road in that direction appears to have been blocked off. It would seem another route lies to the south, only it is plagued by monsters, and I dare not brave it myself, for you seem the capable sort. A soldier, I dare say. I'm sure such beasts would pose little trouble for- Pray aid me in this matter, sir. I should not. These are glorified errands we've been given. But we best see to it all the same. If you enjoy the show, pray toss a. Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones, carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. What do you think you're doing here? Something that can turn monsters to stone. Interesting. The roads grow perilous. And the prices of goods soar. Nine, 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 nine gold. Who charges nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine gold? You should just bring that up to ten k. Were you trying to trick me into thinking it's a deal? All the other shops are charging two thousand or fifteen hundred. Are you charging nine, 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 nine? Nine, nine, nine. Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Legend of Raising Step. First telling a legend of Raising Step can be traced back to a thousand years of time before the rise of this nation. It describes a mighty foe whose stride was so great as to part the seas and transcend mountains. It is said to have wielded a long spear, which has toppled all who stood in its way and to have trampled aught else in its path underfoot. For its gate never faltered, carrying it air forth to the cloud bastion tower on the far horizon. Huh. By and large, the people of Bagbatal seem to adore their benevolent empress. I've remarked that myself. They revere her majesty with all their hearts and regard her as family. Vermin's people bear no such love for their queen regent. Though, of course, they have their reasons. Armor and weapons. 
Me? I sell defensive equipment, as you can play. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first. Okay. Well, they got some new armor for me. Grand Curios. A masterwork crafted using the foremost techniques of the smithing trade. Those who achieve mastery of it are used caliber sol soldiers of the highest caliber. It's way better than what I have on. Hmm. So I'm thinking about swapping my gear, my my character to a um, a different Always setup. A pleasure. Uh, mainly just because it seems like leveling multiple. Are you pregnant or are you stealing? Like the hell? You're not pregnant. Why is your doojank sticking out like that? Like you're pregnant. Welcome and well met. Ginger looking up girl skirts. Hmm. I believe we're using the mundane one. We should probably upgrade to like the explorers. The sand one. Let's upgrade to the sand one. Dear, that's the. Oh, apologies. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day I've. Thinks it began when I started reading an old grimoire I found whilst tidying the storeroom. Tis entitled On the Transference of Souls. Uh huh. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant the reader the power to summon things from beyond the rift. I thought I might use it to stock my shells with otherworldly wares. Perhaps you will think me simple, but truly all I want is a better. Yet tis most vexing, for the moment I start reading the tome, tis as if a fog descends over my eyes. But mayhap there is hope for me yet, if I can. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes. Would you be kind enough? I must keep reading that grimoire. I've heard quints. Welcome, and well met. Have you brought me a quince? Pray, do a man a kindness. To... Not for me, but for my wife. Do come again. Well, 
Right, I need to find the vocationist so I can switch my vocation. I think it's this guy up here. Hoy, looking. No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might even. All right. So we've maxed out fighter, swords, mace, shields. Uh, we, what we're gonna do next is max out warrior. So let's go ahead and acquire this one. It doesn't really matter. It's just... Can we spend our points on this? I think we can spend our points, right? Let's go ahead and grab the augments. I think we've got to level up first. I think that's what it is. To go out here, go outside and beat up some monsters real quick. A new discovery. Many thanks. Our foes will quail in the wake of your fearsome blows, Master. I can just imagine the look of horror on our enemies' faces. I almost feel sorry for them. Okay. Let's go see what equipment we can get. Can we still use any of the equipment that we have? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Nope, we can't use the winged cell, eh? We can still use our guardian plate armor, so that's kind of nice. We can still use the guardian plate legs. So not too much has changed except for the helmet. Oof. My pack's grown rather heavy. Let's see. What can we do without? Alright, let's go see what the best two-handed sword is we can buy for this guy. My services don't come cheap. Now he's got a new shield. The tall shield and the continental shield. Those are both pretty neat. All right, two-handed weapons. What do you got in here for two-handed weapons? The Griffic Victory. Flambers. Looks like it came right out of Diablo 2. Uh, the Griffic Victory is definitely the better of them all. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Mind. Let's go ahead and sell this garbage. We don't need you... I don't need you. Alright, what does it take to enhance this weapon? Monster fangs. That's easy. Knacker horns. Yeah. Not really sure if I want to spend the money to upgrade my plate when there's so much better armors out there than the ones that we're wearing. Why am I wearing Traveler's Gaiters? Instead of the Guardian Leg Plates, which are obviously better. Can't wear the guardian leg plates on the character. Okay, well that sucks. You're welcome. All right, let's take a look at my armor choices. Me? I... Now this hardly bears saying, but don't you? All right. So the valorous helm can only be worn by the by this character, and the griffic helm can be worn by the regular warrior.
Looks like the Grand Curios can be worn by both, so that's a pretty solid upgrade. That way we don't have to flip back and forth between two pieces of equipment. And we don't have the money for that. Mm. Dare try to take always a pleasure. Just tell me what you need. Let's take a look at her weapon real quick and see if we can get her an upgraded bow. I think that's probably better than an armor anyway. So her new bow is the Dragon's Blink. A long bow worthy of its namesake. Cody, you came over here and slimed me again. I don't understand why you do this. You just come over here and you just slime me. And you like doing it too. It's like your favorite thing in the world. Would you like a, a porkum twist? Hmm? Would you like a porkum twist? Here. There you go. Hoop two. One other one. Is that good enough? Can I have one? What if I have one? Can I have one? <laughs> um. And I'll see it done. All right, we gotta sell some stuff. We don't have enough money. I need some more money, honey. Don't have enough money. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess technically if I'm going to buy her new weapon, I also don't need her. She doesn't need her weapon anymore, so let's go ahead and, and sell that as well. So let's remove a veteran's arc. <coughs> I probably also don't need this sword either because I think this is um, probably going to end up being old hat basically at this point. Same thing with the winged cell. I'm going to see if I can find a better helmet. So take... I also don't want this helmet either, so we can, we can sell both of these. Um, I can't use the pants either, and I'm also not going to be using these traveling gators, so we're going to sell both of those. What are you scaring? Just tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need. All right, so let's sell S Steeled Virtue, the Shield of Vernworth, the Winged Salet, the Gladiator's Helm, Guardian Leg Plates, the Traveler's Gators. Uh, we're just going to sell all that. We don't need any of that right now. Um, and then for her, we could sell her bow. And I'll see it done. All right, so first things first, let's grab her the new bow. You're welcome. All right, and then what I need some pants. Me? I now this hardly bears saying, but do All right, so the brutal chosses are across both. Don't you dare try to take anything without many thanks. 
Alright, what I need to do is I need to get access to my chest, and I need to grab some stuff to sell. That's what we need to do. I got tons of stuff to sell. We can make a whole lot of money this way. Let me just see what I have to take out. And the prices of goods sold. Is there no end to That way we can get a large number of new jank. All right. Let's take out all that. I can sell all that. I can sell that. It doesn't matter. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. Um, I don't know why we have so many lanterns. We can sell those. Camping kit, explorer kit, lantern with no fuel. Sell, sell. Um, we can sell both the driving dragon gazes too. I don't feel like they're very all that important. The harpy snares. We sell those too. I don't really know why I really would want those, to be perfectly honest. Um, I've also got like a trillion copper ore, which we could definitely sell some. So let's get rid of some of that copper ore. Now uh, I've also got this that can be sold. I need to keep the courtly stuff. Take oh, all you. that back over to the guy over here. Always a pleasure. Let's go selling. Dude, quit bonking my mouse. Quit it. Mouse bonker. Bonker of mice. I'm so over encumbered, can't walk fast. Just tell me what you need, and I'll. All right. got how many lanterns on there's only they're only worth one gold apiece why do i have so many lanterns then all right modest camping kits uh sand pattern that's the one we're keeping explorers can go sell these two dragon do jinks sell these three do jinks Alright, we got like a million copper ore. We get them like every time we go out. Let's uh, keep like 10 of them, or 14 of them, sounds good. Uh, that's right, So all that. So I got all these rings that I don't really use, to be perfectly honest. All right, so we've got 37,920. Um, what we need is a helmet for my boy here. You're welcome. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you... This port crystal's 15,000. Basically makes it so that I can ferry stone to any place in an instant. That's kind of neat. I kind of feel like I should probably keep that.
You dare. All right, I need a helmet, but I would like a helmet that can transfer back and forth between both, but it doesn't look like there is one. Looks like there's a Valorous helmet, which could be used for this character, or the Griffic helmet, which can be used for the warrior, but not both. The Gnostic wings, which aren't too bad, do both. Actually, those aren't bad. They're not bad, actually. They're cheap, too. Let's grab those. Try to take anything with that. All right, that leaves me with twenty four thousand. Our current armor is still on, right? I'm paying for it first. Always a pleasure. I kind of want to upgrade to the grand whatever. Yeah, so we're currently using the guardian plate. All right, let's take the guardian plate off. Me? Now this hardly bears saying, but don't. Okay, how much do we need for the for the plate? That's the question. So for the Grand Curios, we need forty-eight thousand. Try to take anything. Um, ours is worth five thousand nine hundred seventy-eight, which is only going to bring us up to twenty-nine thousand. So that's pretty shy. Mm. Without paying for it, many thanks. All right, so I guess we just stick with our armor piece for right now until we can get some more money. Me, I sell defensive. Now, this hardly bears saying. All right. Let's do the weapons first. So, Griffic Victory has already been upgraded. Dragon's Blink. Monster Fangs, not bad. Now we need two Dragon Scales and two Black Crystals. That means we need to kill two dragons to fully upgrade this bow. That's a little much. I can do the final upgrade on my plate, which will bring us to the third tier. So that's not bad. We need more Southron iron for this one, and we need twisted pinions for this one. Mm. More ogre talons for the Griffic victory. But don't you dare! Many thanks. All right, so we got upgrades in both of our weapon types. I'm trying out my new class. I kind of want to go out here and just kill some stuff real quick and see if we can get some level ups on this vocation so we can it's actually spend points. Freight, and it looks as if it could bear a significant load. Shall we hop on? We needn't let our feet do all the work. Interesting. Uh, is there no way... To remain here? Is that how this place stays safe? There's no real way up? Hell is that? Well met. Does that make you the arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go between twixt Her Majesty and the Guard. Uh huh. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss. How much I do we have to discuss? Round all the while. Okay. Shall we make for the tavern? Pray, follow me. Keep my spirits up somehow. We're here, Master. Nary a thing more tiring than making conversation. Well met, sir. How might I be of service?
fancy look of my way. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom. But a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in Back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, Mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Sir Fulvio, the right, we need to go kill to stuff. Sir Clark commissioned is residing in Batal. Shall we go and meet with him? No, we're going to go kill stuff. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Oh, poisony doojanks over here. That's exactly uh, what I'm looking for. Careful, Master! Ask the I grant you fire flame. He's 12. Big sword seems to hit real nice. It's very slow, obviously, but seems to get the job done. Now we just need to level up a little bit and get some more gold, upgrade my equipment a little bit more. That's a big boy strike. Monsters here. Fortune will not always favor us. A painful reminder that what? Healy, 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 heal. All right, we need more monsters. We gotta level up this vocation so well, we can actually put some points in. Materials can be found here, me thinks. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Huh. It's really good, Alex. I'm having fun with it. And contrary to what people would tell you, I haven't spent any money on the game. Other than the original purchase. Magic 
A couple of people come in here and tell me that there's microtransactions all riddled throughout the game, but to be honest with you, I haven't spent a single penny, nor have I felt the need to, nor have I even visited the shop. So I'm not really sure what they're on about, to be perfectly honest. And some of the items that they've been complaining about that are supposedly in the shop for sale, you can get easily enough just like in the game. I think the only one that I've uh, encountered that it would, might necessarily be a little bit restrictive is the one that allows you to like redesign your character. But you can, there's literally a free character creator. You could spend like hours in there, like before the game even launched, you know, getting your character career, you know, like exactly the way that you wanted it. So, and I'm pretty sure the game came with one free, free swip out. Swippy sweep swips too, so, I don't know. Okay. You see me just throw that guy? That was cool. I like that. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. No reason to rush into our bedrolls. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. Yeah, well, I'm done. Okay, done. All right, more monsters. I, I got a big a sword. I need swing. We can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. Me, if you will. I grant you roaring flame. Cody, quit being mean to the chanchies. Holy Jesus. Okay. Vocation rank two. I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. Sit down. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Piece of cake or a piece of piece of what? It's it's hard. I've died a lot. The monsters can be brutal. I mean, it's definitely something there. It's a little difficult. I guess I think so, anyway. Sunset draws me. I mean, if you want to go back about an hour, maybe two hours. I don't know exactly how long it's been since I fought the dragon, but I literally fought a dragon, and man, that took me quite a large number of attempts. And when I finally did get the dragon, it was quite a good feeling. It was a good feeling. I killed a dragon. I was excited. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Kill a dragon. I killed a freaking dragon. A dragon. I killed a freaking dragon. Isn't that right, Cody? Sing with me. Say, so, so I killed a dragon and he was mean. He tried to blow fire right into my freaking spleen. And I don't like it when the dragons are so old mean. All I wanted to do was pet him on his snoot. Like this. Right on his snoot. And he said, I don't want you to pet me on my snoot. I'm a dragon. 
And that is disrespectful, because I'm a Drake. Are you a dragon, Cody? Are you a dragon? Are you a dragon? He's not a dragon. You just a dog? Are you a dragon dog? So I'm like, I'm a dragon dog. You get it, did you, have you tried to breathe fire breaths? Try to breathe fire breaths and see if you're a dragon dog. Okay, you can breathe fire. Okay, come here. Come here, let's see if you can breathe fire. Come here. Come here. Let's see if you can breathe fire. Are you ready? All right. Ready? All right, hold it steady. Hold it steady. Get your teeth further like this. You gotta, be, gotta look angry. You gotta look, you gotta look angry like this. You gotta get your teeth out like that. Okay, get your teeth out. And then once you got your teeth out, all right, look, I put a little fuel in there. Put a little pig fat in there. Okay, put a little pig fat. All right, now you got your pig fat. All right, you ready? You ready to be fire? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> You didn't do it. You didn't proof the fire. You're supposed to proof the fire. You briefed. That was. That was gross. That was really gross, Cody. I know you guys didn't see what he did, but the pork rind that I gave him, he hacked it back up and, like, just, like, spit it onto my keyboard and then proceeded to lick the lick it up off of my keyboard he breathed something all right he breathed pork rinds i don't know if that makes him a dragon i don't think that i don't even think that's a low level breath skill i think that's just that's just gross i think that's all that is i think that's just gross cody you've got gross level breath skills it's grody it's grodacular why you get grodacular skills hmm Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grodacular boy. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh yeah, you gonna fight me? You gonna bite me? It's not my fault you got big old big old pimples on your face. That's right, I popped your pimple. What you gonna do about it? I said that's rude. I don't like that. Last question, Zelda or this? do you have to choose? I love Zelda. Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda In Tears of the Kingdom. World, I played through, I played both of those. I would say both. You have my protection. I grant you fire play. I knew you would prevail, Master. I'm seeing I can catch up today. Check out the world somewhat overdone. to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. I 
I swear, one of these literally has the voice of like a old, of like a old like, like European grandma. I feel like I'm constantly being nagged by like somebody's grandma. Sorry, I forgot to hop into voice chat over there. I'm in there now. Just in case anybody who else who is playing wants to come by and hang out. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. Yes, thank you. Let's see what's up here. Got wrecked. Oh god, there's two of them. Right in the crotch. Right in the crotch hole. Look out, Arisen! We're under attack! Seems to have a red It is a very word. Oh, right in the pie hole. I like my one-handed variant better than the two-handed variant, but I want to level up this so I can get the uh, the passives. So basically how it works in this game is like every class has their own passives, and the more classes that you level up, the more passives you get, basically. So I kind of want to just, just do this so I can get the passives. my face. Twice right on my face. Three times right on my face. It's almost like being underneath of an ogre's feet is a bad place to be. Hmm. I'm so tired of getting sat on.
I like this Skyward Sunder thing. It's kind of neat. Seems like it really does some damage. Fighting each other, and I can't. Strike fast and true, and our quarry shall fall. I must. Whatever takes One down. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. We really ought to take a moment to catch our breath, if we can spare one. Take a moment to catch our breath? What are we, babies? Cody, don't be mean to the chinchies. That's what we're looking for. Vocation rank four. Cody, stop. Come here. Stop getting all worked up. They're little tiny little things. They're not even bigger than your head. You got a big old fat head. They're smaller than your head. Cut them some slack. Turd breath. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. Tis as you say. Stop getting so upset just because they don't want to come to the bars. The one that I don't need. This is the one that removes uh, status effects and things like that. That's not the this one I want. Looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. The status effects one is nice, but 
It's not what I need right this minute. We've all got different vocations. Because you're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Do not waste this chance. Press home or Strike fast and true, and our own quarry shall fall. Very well, if I must. That poor doggy got wrecked. Focused. Double focused. The enemy flees before us. Oh, yeah. I see no merit in hunting down the Nicely done. The hell is going on? I can't even tell what well, whose magic is whose. Lightning and fire shooting at everyone's arse. That damage output. Was a battle of most fits against a formidable foe. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? Quit bragging. Hey, the sun's coming up. Mm. Someone made camp here. Shall we get some rest? I'm dead on my feet. Where? Where's the camp? Wow, oh, okay. Nice. We get to use all of our new camping hut. We get some rest. I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. <laughs> Somebody needs our help. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, I think he's dead. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Rattler rock scales. Yeah. Thought you might appreciate this. A hundred gold. That's pretty much what I figured. Judging by her outfit, I was like, there ain't no way she got like a significant amount of money over here. I was like an arm is always covered in slobber. Like, I might as well just get a shirt made it's out of like terry cloth towel or something. Say, Master. Yeah, I didn't think she had any money. It didn't look like she had any money. Beck Beck Resos Commission Investigation Log Six of the Reign of Emperor Falari. We have uncovered a magical stone of incredible purity. It appears to be over 2,000 years old. It may have served as fuel for an artifact of immense size. Hmm. Another person needs help up here. I mean, one thing about this two-hander is that when it hits, it hits. Like, it's it's a nice, hard, bestial hit. It does some damage. You know what I mean? I hope this conveys my gratitude. It's really slow, though. I do miss having a shield. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Is this really deep here? Oh yeah, it's really deep. <coughs> Can't go into deep water. Deep water is uh is no no. Oh. What's this over here? will seem of little consequence, but the pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! Oh, okay. Let my magic review your weapon with the fury of the element. Excellent. I could have done no better. Nice of you to say so! Holy Jesus! <laughs> There's so many things going on at once, like, in general, just all over the place. This big old boy with the two-hander keeps knocking me in the air. Holy Jesus, did we make some progress? Oh, 
Alrighty then. What the hell did I just walk into? It's like a bandit camp or something? I shall take a look inside. Oh, a fairy stone. Nice. Cyclops skull in here. Look at all those swords. That's a fine craftsmanship. Final than anything we have. Piece of equipment. The final roar. Armor fashioned from hide said to have been carved amid the monster's death throes. Channels the wearer's late strength into might. It's a higher armor value than my guardian plate mail. It also has no upper body stuff at all. The only reason it looks like I'm still wearing armor is because of my my shroud. A present. It would be a welcome addition to our armory. That's actually pretty good armor. What's up, Mortuna? You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. That's a little dramatic. I'm not running out of stamina. Oh, that's right. I'm very heavy at the moment. I picked up that pack. That was the main thing. I don't need two packs. Treasure chest just sitting out in the middle of a, a rock. Booby trap, booby trap. Figured a chest sitting on the, in the out like that in the open was pretty much a booby trap. A thunderous concord. So you're not coming uh, down? Okay, well, we're coming up, so we'll be up there in a minute. I will be there to say hi to you in just a minute. I don't think he liked my high. My high was probably not the most polite. It's probably a little rude, to be perfectly honest. I'll have to work on that. Mm -hmm. 
I'll do my best. Just when are you planning to return? Am I to be left by the wayside? This the uh yeah this is the camp I was just at so this is like an upper so you could get a get an advantage on them so to speak attack them from above you are in need of healing allow me wait a moment Ooh, a chest ring of gallantry <laughs> A ring of gallantry. <laughs> a ring bearing the mysterious power that invigorates the spirit. Wearers take more damage from ranged attacks from behind, but less if hit from the front. Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, I'd not have thought we'd find one here. That's pretty funny, actually. The ring just gives you more defense, just in general, as long as you're facing the enemy, but as soon as you turn away, extra damage. Extra, extra, read all about it. This guy turned around, he's a coward. Like that, all right. Well, you don't have to say it like that, but... Yes, Brandon Cruz, I have made a video on every single unique item in Diablo 2. Mm -hmm. All of them. And that was the plan. I always wanted you guys to be able to... An anytime you found a unique happen. item, I wanted you guys Let to be able to just pull up a video and just... Like, you could just set it up in the background, you know? My little stupid voice over there, you know, like, Hello guys and gals and welcome! Today we're going to be talking about this stupid item, and it stinks, and let me tell you why it stinks. You know. Uh, Cody, a porkum twist fell out of the thing all by itself. Did you see that? It fell right there. You going to get it? <laughs> I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I'll craft aught I can using what's in my pack. Gathering materials makes me dull work indeed. I will be with you in but a moment. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. There's a ladder here. After you arisen. Victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the There's next. There's a cave right here. We should go into that cave. Where is this thing going? I'm kind of curious. You roaring 
roaring flame. This ox cart's back. You've got to pay before we depart. Sure, let's go back. I need to spend my points anyway. Let's go. Let's do a little vocational training and then we'll come back. We also got some money and whatnot too. We might be able to get some upgrades going on. What's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone, that is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into it! Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. It is not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grip for a proper duel, one-on-one? -on -one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well... Tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. I don't believe it. You're a bloody menace, you are. No, oh, yeah. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. Fine work that was. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. 
I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, tis my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. Till next time. Ragnar is no ordinary man, that much is certain. I know not what to say. Hoy! Look no need to overthink it. You can change it on a... All right, we got some new augments. Increases your maximum health. And impact. Improves your ability to push and pull targets when grabbing or holding. I wouldn't do the classic version in D2R. It's, it's a little... It's a little broken. Because the synergies got added, but they didn't... Um, they didn't... I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. The classic version of the game didn't have synergies, and so the addition of the synergies kind of ruined the classic version of the game. In my opinion. So I can finally actually get some of the skills for this class. Which was what I was trying to do the entire time, by the way. Because I didn't have anything. And I got nothing, so. Now I got something. Ladder launch. Enables user to plant their feet and launch an ally. Hmm. And that downward strike looks freaking painful. I kind of want to try that downward strike. That one's kind of ridiculous, too.
This one looks kind of crazy too. Just like a solid upward thrust. Looks kind of nuts. Yeah, Classic was balanced around not having synergies, and then when they added synergies, they kind of ruined it. Wim, you've naught to lose. Well, got any fine... Mr. Chair, pleasure doing business with you. Greetings, Sir Arisen. Sir Manella would speak with you in the palace. Pray seek her out at your earliest convenience. Okay. Bakvatal is not a friendly place for pawns. Each gaze we encounter feels more unjustly vicious than the last. Let no hardship keep us from our charge. We go with the Arisen, wheresoever that journey may take us. I don't like how she said that. She made it sound like being my friend is a burden. That's what you made it sound like. Look as long as you please. All right. Let's sell up. I apparently need these quinces for the quest. Like we got a lot of stuff to sell. This thing has a question mark for the class type, which is really kind of odd. It's a really nice helmet, whatever it is, but it's not for my class. I don't know what class it's for. I guess I can just sell it. It's worth twelve thousand five hundred. Uncanny eyes, a hood that fully shrouds the wearer's fabric face. The thin fabric is imbued with prayers and patterned with many eyes to disquiet and confuse. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and sell it. I do believe Mr. Kubus Abubus the Monstum Dog has got to go Pepadudus. So let's take a quick break real quick. Been going for almost like five hours now, so why not? It's a good time for a little break. We'll come right back and we'll do some more.
Whew. All right. See what else we've got to sell. I kind of want to keep the arrows for her. Even though she uses them up really fast. I don't really want to sell the armor, but... Probably at least put it away. Always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Why are you always commenting on everything I do? Hail. Me? Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare. All right. Let's take a look at uh, her. Majestic armor. What's got a boob cover? That noble jacket looks pretty neat, too. 35,000 for the majestic armor. Let's get her an upgrade. Uh, try to take anything. Let's go ahead and sell her other piece of equipment. without paying for it first. And enhance. So we can enhance the final roar, too. I forgot about that. Oh, it's just knacker horns for the knacker for this one? That's not bad. Monster fangs? Copper stone? That's easy. We just triple upgrade that. Not bad at all. White cobble. Not enough funds. We need 4,200 gold. Alright. Hmm. I mean, honestly, by the time we swing back around to the warrior to, like, use this, we're probably going to be past it. So, let's just go ahead and sell the Guardian Plate. I think it'll be all right. The Ring of Gallantry, I'm not really too interested in either. All right, now we need Griffin Pinions and Twisted Pinions. Okay. And that one's already fully enhanced. I think she needs better pants, too, but... I don't think I can afford it right now. Dapper Chausses. Wraith Greaves. Those things look poofy as I don't even know what. Them the poofiest things I ever done at all. Okay, I'll have to wait on that. Imperial shoulder cape. A worm wing cape. Huh. Always a pleasure. All right, we need to find the stone in this place so that we can teleport back here if we need to. I don't know where the hell anything is here. Wait, what the hell is that up here? Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Always, it's always. Let a us challenge. endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Right. 
Am I going to regret spending money on stuff because there's some sort of masterwork smith up here? I trust you're bothering me for a reason. What is this on the map? I don't even... Balkers Smithy. His name is Bro Brokers. Are you Broker? Is that your name, Broker? Are you the Brokerist? I offer you a coin. What are you? Don't bring trouble to my door. It is Broker. Don't bring trouble to my door. You hear? What do you like for gifts? What's your? What do you want? You want a rugged bone? More than my life's worth, this. More than your life's I'm worth? A master of... Yeah, that's... I'm not interested. Okay, well, I want to be your friend. So here, have another bone. Don't look at me. Okay. I'm not interested. Alright, what else do you want? Would you like a gold ore? That's what I like to see. Don't bring trouble to my door. Uh, what else do you want? Would you like? Would you like a magic metal? Not half bad. Cody, stop sliming me! It's disgusting. It's gross. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look. He just slimes me. Look at this. Look. What? Look. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know. He just walks up to me and slimes me. I don't even know what this is. It's gross. Where did this even come from? And why do you feel the need to wipe it on me? You're not getting no more porkum twists, cause you're being bad, Slimer. Grody. Why do you consider lightening your pack, Master? If you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. Okay. Um, we need to find the port key stone thing. Um, look here, paper towel thief. No, no. Caught you red handed, turd boy. That's what you get. Okay. Armory. Where's Barber? In. <coughs> uh, tavern and an inn. Right next to each other. Olvio's workshop. Rare book stand. I don't know why they like paper towels. I don't. I don't understand it. He acts like he. He acts like he is starving, twenty four hours a day. If if he if you heard it from him, the story would be: my master never feeds me. I am starving all the time. My bones are showing, and my master does not care. I tried to take a single, uh, chicken nugget off his plate, and he yelled at me, and he told me I was a bad bad boy. I was a bad bad. Bad, 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 bad boy. And and I am very sad now because he told me I was a bad boy for trying to take a single chicken nugget when I was starving to death. I do not know what to do. Very shortly I shall perish from lack of nourishment. You there. Have you a home in Batal? If not, well, look no further. As it so happens, I've one to sell. Now... 
I have noticed you tend to travel with pawns. Bold choice here in Batal, where they're ill-loved. Though I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? Not feeling so keen, are you? Well, you'll not find a better deal elsewhere. Of that, I can assure you. I've a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your map. I level the mine. All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. If we share our strengths, we can begin formulating a strategy mm -hmm. that caters to our respective skills. Yeah. Okay. I like your staff. It's pretty. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. This might be worth a read. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. <laughs> a thorough perusal. Welcome. Oh, what do you got for sale? Flowers, noon bloom, and sun blooms. Hmm. Day in, day out. It's no wonder my back aches. Always a pleasure. Your back aches. Winter's past. What the hell is this lady I'm supposed to be talking to? She's around her somewhere. Huh? What in the... Where did you come from? Did Clark send you? Yes. Oh no, he did, didn't he? I'm sorry. I I'm really, truly very sorry. I haven't slept a wink, I swear it. Well, I suppose I'm... Might have fallen asleep once or twice, but it isn't as if I've been lazing about. I simply haven't been able to devise any good ideas. I tell you, this arrangement has been an encumbrance on my mind. From While I am glad that the old man appreciated my talents enough to commission me, it doesn't change the facts. I can only depict subjects that I've seen with my own two eyes, which makes things rather difficult, given the time. Say, you appear a rather strapping sort. Would you be persuaded to bring me to a griffin? It will be well worth any trouble. Clark shall pay handsomely to see this done. And you'd be doing me a great boon besides. I've heard aught of a griffin's nesting place. I shall await you there. Do keep in mind, however, that you must needs drag the battle out if I am to complete my sketch. Of course, 
I, I could look as long as I pleased if you were to petrify the beast. Indeed, a beast frozen in place would be much more easily drawn. Tis said that the famed sculptor of Eld used a Medusa's severed head to petrify her subjects before sketching them. Of course, I wouldn't presume to demand aught so legendary of you, Arisen. I only ask that you aid me in completing my sketch as best as you are able. Then I shall depart at once. Pray, meet me at the foot of the Guerco mountain range, east of the rest town. Fighting griffins day in and day out. Like it's my job or something. There's a Seeker's coin up here, but like, I don't even know if it's worth getting. Ah, dang. It's like all the way on top of the mountain there. I give up. Wee! I still haven't found what I was hoping for here. Unfortunately. I guess there's no port here. I think that's what it is. There's no port here. So, if that's the case, I really don't want to have to come all the way back here. So, I think we're going to use a port key. Tis done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. All right, Flame Bearer Palace Road. Hmm. I kind of want to go to the next area if possible. See what's in the next area. Shops, you know, different sorts of things like that. I know I still have quests to do here, but you know, I'm lazy and I like to do my stuff out of order. So ha. Huh. We're acting so. What's your problem? Got some business with me, do ye? Sorry, but I'm not. Scarce had any passengers at night. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Can't let you on till you've paid. Checkpoint rest town is... Um... I thought this was the checkpoint rest town. So is it going... Is there more than one checkpoint rest town? It seems odd that it would be on this side. Which can be found here in the tunnel. The 
What? However, you would do well to first travel to the altar at all costs and seek a man named Ambrose. Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. It seems that we must seek out this Ambrosius if we are to learn more of the God's way. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Was that beautiful lady? I still got some of my extra toasty cheeses left. Not many. I got some. Tis this way. I got some dark chocolates. I mean, no, it's no delicious. Where do we go? Toasties are my favorite and the best ones that are allowed in the universe. I get you the peasant bacon and cheddar ones. Those are the peasant Cheez-Its. Yes, peasant. You get the peasant Cheez-Its, I get the king Cheez-Its. Extra toasties are, without a doubt, the king Cheez-Its. Follow me, if you would. Breathe. Let me get that. <laughs> there seems to be monsters here. Let's try out one of my new abilities on them. Well, he was smart. He got away. Can't even see. Yeah, die, you little, little evil little lizard things. Seagulls. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Searching, searching through the trash on the beach. Searching, searching through the trash on the beach. One day, at the peak of my adventures, a man will come along, a little a little boy on, a, in a, in a, on his way to manhood, and he will say, Sir, how did you become such an amazing knight and afford such shiny armor and such glistening swords? And I will tell him, I will tell him all about this how I turned into a raccoon and searched every single this pile of rubbish site? and collected every single flower and every yeah, single... What? do jank that I could find and sold them all to the vendor at very cheap prices and often felt ripped off but I did not rel relent and continued to collect and collect and collect until eventually I was rich 
rich beyond your wildest dreams, and you can be a raccoon too. You can also be a raccoon. I grant you fire today. Being a raccoon is not for everyone, but it is for me. And this is the key. This is the key to becoming a hero. You have to be a raccoon. You gotta pick up everything. All of the doojanks, all of the time. You have to be the raccooniest of raccoons that ever raccooned the raccoon land. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Small blue crystal shards. Is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. See? Raccoon. They can pick me up and they're rude about it. Oh, I Beyond can. path leads not to our destination. If you would prefer to explore, I shall guide you another time. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. There's a nice little cave over there that we can go into. I do enjoy a good cave. Not to talk during missions, sir. What? <sighs> Must you interrupt? I've research to conduct. Okay. Structure in the waters is most cute. I'm convinced there's altered its base. Could be that whatever's down there is the source of all. Structure in the water. I'm convinced there's altered its base near the seafloor. I swear, I've caught glimpses of it. Could be that whatever's down there is the source of all these blue shards washing up. Pray, follow me. Now I've lost the thread of my thoughts. Well, I'm so sorry. Are you coming, Master? Our path is here. Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind. It is of little imp. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Okay, well, I got some of them. Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them. Here, take your coin and be gone. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult. We've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than... I'd fain lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Cave. I see a cave. Cave. I see a cave. Follow me, if you would. Deep inside the cave, we go inside the cave. There's monsters in the cave, we kill them all the day. Into the cave, lots of monsters in the cave. 
Hold on, I need to put a fish in my pocket real quick. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. All right, hello, Ratatouille. Materials, eh? I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive. Okay. I'm not talking to you. I'm trying to talk to that. We need to upgrade our our uh, pawns. All right. Hmm, level forty-one. It is an honor to see you again, Arisen. What's up, Beastrin? Level oh, 41 is good. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna swap somebody out. Ah, uh, you can have a fish. There you go, have a fish. Tis a pity we must part after sharing an unexpected reunion, but a happy one. Alright, now we need a new mage, too. What do we got for mages? Esmeralda, level 26. She's way too low level. Um... Shida, that's the one we have. She's only level, uh, what was it, like 31 or something? Gotta be a higher mage in here somewhere. Let's see. Pawns in the rift. Level 34. Jaim. Hmm. I uh, can't we, like, refresh the rift? I can't remember. Let's go ahead and grab. Um, well, where is Jaim? Sure, she. Oh, there he is. I'm glad to see you in such fine fettle, Arisen. You're even more impressive than when I last clapped eyes on you. That is the manliest looking woman I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy Jesus. I, uh, um, you know what? Uh, a troubling <laughs> rumor has reached my ears, and he thinks I ought to share it. He it said there is an illness Fawns can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. Uh -huh. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. <laughs> Oops. Yes, website garbage. So, we've come. Since times of eld. Dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Okay. Must be fully enhanced before you can upgrade it in the worm fire. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I want to use that on the the bush raiders. I would like to use it on some of these other ones. So I basically can't do any of my gear right now because I don't really have fully upgraded Dujanks. I did have fully upgraded Dujanks up to a certain point.
those worm crystals are what I'm using. Hmm. So long as ye retain your will, you'll find you're bound to it, and it to ye. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force. Though this does not mean that it is evil. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions, and thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of a higher order, as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked you, setting ye apart from your fellows. The Arisen is a transcendent being, always chosen by the dragon. It marks for itself the individual who must fell it. Thus, when the dragon is made manifest, so too is an Arisen. And should that Arisen fall, another shall rise in their place. The cycle is doomed to continue till the dragon is felled, for that is what the will of this world has ordained. I am the husk of he who was once arisen. My final battle against the dragon culminated in the loss of the will that should have seen me bring the creature low. Thus, as the Arisen is defined by the strength of their will. From that moment on, I was Arisen no longer. Such is the world's will. I dare say it compels me e'en now to impart upon ye all the knowledge I possess. The Godswain? Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batar came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Phasus, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. Ye need not seek the dragon. It will find ye. Aye. Make no mistake, the dragon will appear before ye when the time is come. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. Apparently, a dragon was sighted in Harv village, though I am not sure I believe it after all. Now that ye have been marked as arisen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that even if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers should appear in that village, t'was no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power, and when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. Then go. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. 
Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Boy, they always got something to say about my purchase history. You want to take a look at my um, my Amazon Prime account too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they do, actually. I want to take a look at my Amazon Prime account. Well, I think they do. Okay, well, that's pretty far north. Or, what is that, west? Hmm. Just 150 RC, just like that. This looks like it's breakable. Let me get that. Oh, more writings. Seems to be some sort of village up here. I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have the quarrel. Oh. They mean us harm, not a friendly village. Not friendly at all. Finish being rude. Efficiency at its best. Our combined might is beyond any foe. Hmm. White leather kerchiefs too. I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your. Will you get out of my face, Uchi? Put some clothes on. If we're to break it. It shan't be from this side. I understand. Okay, I ain't breaking that door. Can I like have you forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. Let us press on with our next objective. Well, I had a Shall boat. we go and speak with this oracle master? Is there something I can throw? Certainly, master. I can take you to this individual. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Well, that's too big. I need something smaller. was well worth the effort of breaking it. How do you know? It's a, just a potato. Cliffside Cave. Oh, there's something big in here. It's a chimera! Oh, my first chimera!
see if we can get that tail. That was not the tail. Heaven Sunder, make it glow. Yeah. Get him. This was actually one of the first monsters I fought in um, Dragon's Dogma 1. Was the Chimera. Finally got a freakish main. We need those for upgrading our dojanks too. Indeed, but one we surpassed with skill. Fortune favors us, it would seem. What kind of ore they got here? This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. Olgan ore. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. What the hell is full fuligen or why tis a treasure in the truest sense. How exciting. My heart is fit to burst. Oh, that's Wakestone. Wakestone shard, we got a Chimera kill. Did I ever play Dark Arisen? What do you mean? Just being an evil person in general? Or is that a different game? If it's a different game now, I haven't played it. Oh, there's an alternative pathway here. Interesting. Where does this go? Look out, knackers! So aggressive. Oh, the DLC for DD1? No, I probably didn't play that then. Didn't even know there was a DLC. Unless it came with the game when I bought it. On that poor little bat with that big sword. Such an overkill. Yeah, I don't think I ever did play that uh, expansion, Justin. Or DLC. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Might be of use. Ah! 
The day grows darker with our every step. He is quick. It will be difficult to keep a distant foes by sight alone. Wow, poor guy. Do you mean to leave us here? Yes. I don't know. Yes. Hang in there, Master. I'm coming to assist. over here. There's something over here. There's a reason. Can fix them now and use them when the need arises. A token? That's it? Yeah. What we need to do is get the hell off of this cliff with the birds that can pick us up and throw us off the cliff. Lots of golems. Spicy. These are dead golems, but there's bound to be a living one in here somewhere. Told you. White cobble. Not to provoke it. 
target when lying prone. This battle will demand all our strength. We must stand together. not pick up the dead people and bring them to me in the middle of the blast radius of the attack. Like, what the hell is that? God dang. Get this seal. If we are the best in Behemoth, we must do whatever we can to lock it off balance. Interesting. I suppose we can try to tip the odds in our favor. Oh, that one's like growing out of the, the thing. It's kind of neat. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? Might we remove this hindrance somehow? Ranged attacks are my specialty, Master. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. It is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. It is rather high. sure what they're talking about, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it's so wrong of me.
There's nothing up here. That was a waste of my time. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. I dare say that's part and parcel Ow. of the adventurous trade. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Hmm. Oh, I see the treasure chest on the mini map. It's on the mini map. So where is this treasure chest that they're talking about? On the mini map, What's it says there? that it's right here. I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. There's no, there was nothing up there. I already did it. That's a lie. You lie to me, and you lie to me, and then you lie to me again, and then how many times are you going to lie to me? See, there's nothing up here, unless there's something behind this. Oh, okay, breakable rock. It harbors the power to bring the dead back to life. It is not an item to be used lightly. We ought to keep it safe till the opportune moment presents itself. No. What the hell is that? Why is there a little tiny chapel on the edge of the... Oh, look, there are rare materials yonder, just waiting to be harvested. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Golden Trove Beetle. Delicious beetles. Delicious beetles. I go inside my tummy. I eat the beetles and they give me more carry capacity. Delicious beetles. Om nom 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 nom. Who doesn't like delicious beetles? Yum. Delicious beetles, yummy, yummy, yum. Gotta eat all the beetles, yummy, yummy, yum. Oh, huh. does this really just go nowhere? That's frickin' scary. Boom. I'm pretty sure my blood squirted out. That is a ooze. Ah, oh, send me from the ooze. Over so soon. Save me Why? from the ooze. Oh, save me from escape. the ooze. Ah, oh, hold it there. To become complacent. Take Sit. each trial as it comes. Right there. I'm burning. Hmm. 
I'm literally on fire. I'm burning to death. If you could put me out with some water, that would be the best. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? If we find a place to rest. Now, what might that be? Let Where us the ponder hell does that how best go? to proceed. There's a seeker's token down here. There also seems to be a dragon down here. Being lit on fire. I don't, I don't very much appreciate it. I don't very much appreciate it. Super dead yet? Okay, rank five. Rank six, nice. Can you throw me a heal, please? I shall hasten to your aid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. Will this march never end? No, never. Not for our chances if we were to be set upon now. Batali Turban. Hmm. Is that good for my girl? Um, yeah, uh, she can use it. Um, it is better equipment than what she currently has on. found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Gladly oblige. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Okay, more silver arm. Oh, well, that was explosive. Seekers token. No enemy. I expect you to feel rather inadequate then. Get the better of us. Okay. If we can find a campfire to rest at, that would be great.
I don't know what the hell that was. It looked like a secret. I tried to jump into the little secret area. Immediately got met with a frickin' fist. this nothing special really to charge ahead maybe to rush headlong into danger let us take care to move as one we'll manage whatever comes we always do don't we oh well spotted fool's prize the hell is that looks like a weapon of some kind a duo spear crudely wrought the shaft is covered in spikes that snag the skin like pestilent thorns excels at clobbering goblin can uh okay indeed good on you for being so observant That's half the game, honestly. Like, you got to look around. You got to figure out where the hell you're going, what you're doing. Like, it's, uh, if you don't, I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your life there. through the entire world just having fun I feel like in many ways it's a lot like Skyrim in that regard you can pretty much just travel wherever you want do whatever you want it doesn't matter wow nice timing on the lightning bolt there kind of looked like I did that I swing so slowly, a lot of the times before I can even complete a swing, the monsters will be dead. It's really quite silly, to be perfectly honest. Oh, why hello, dragon. Found a dragon, y'all. Material, they. I shan't deny they have their uses. Well, I'm kind of poorly equipped and also pretty badly hurt. To be fighting a dragon just this second. Let's put a waypoint on the dragon so the dragon is basically right here. Hold on, face the right direction. Okay, the dragon is right here. Um, we need to find a a fireplace so that we can These rest up at least before we fight. You ought to exercise more restraint. There's got to be a fireplace nearby. If 
fireplace. There's one. Nice. Okay. So we've got a fireplace in range of the dragon. Ow. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Alright, and the dragon is literally right up there in those hills. Alright. Dragon fight it is, boys. Uh, let's get some good beef steak. Oh yeah, let's get a nice thick cut. Yeah, it barely fits on the pan how big it is. Yeah. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. <laughs> All right, let's split up our equipment here a little bit too, so I'm not so heavy. We can drop off some of this stuff to them. Oh yeah, and eat my beetle. Delicious beetle. All right, first off, let's give Gina the arrows. So she has these to fight with. I don't know if uh, the mage actually uses these, but you know what? If she doesn't use them, then oh well, and I'll sell them later. Um, I got these weird kerchief things, which are taking up room. Alright, what else do I got that's taking up a lot of space? Highest weight. Uh, so the scrags of beast meat are taking up lots of space. She's so heavy. Oh, she's got like the freakish mane, the southern iron. Okay, good. That brings her down to average. Alright, so now we're all average. A little bit better. How fair me arisen? I'm about to go fight a dragon. Ask me after we're done.
Can't ever freaking do nothing. Yeah. That was a meaty boy hit. It's hot, it burns, and it's not nice. Give me that. Put that in my mouth. Give me that. Ow, that fire's hot. Oh no, right on my face. One and two, four, two, four, two.
foes of battle. Yet we put up a brave fight, and here we stand. The tide of battle was in our favor. Where's my dragon scale? Big old monster dragon. Drag on. I'll put my weapon away. Because we all finished. I killed a Gragon. It's not a dragon. I killed a Gragon. It's only a baby. Killed a Gragon. I killed a Gragon. A big old Gragon. I killed a Gragon. He was a mean Gragon. I killed a friggin' Gragon, and that's what I did. And a big mean Gragon, he Just got it what he did. He gonna crack on. Here, my travels beyond the rift. No sense letting me gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Griffins, I don't think, are eating worms. I hate to tell you this, buddy, but I'm pretty sure that Griffins are probably eating people. That's what Griffins like to eat, is people. They're, they're people eaters. And goblins, probably, too. Although, you know, between goblins and people, goblins are probably more tasty. So, there's that. We're actually close to one of the villages that I saved earlier, and supposedly I was supposed to go back and check on them, you know, after the uh, a while and see how they were doing. So... I guess that's what we're going to do. Let's go back and check on them and see how they've been doing. I heard some sort of beast. Big beast. I don't know what it was. Not a goblin. Big. Another dragon? Well, what's up, buddy? I hear you like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of hit, a little bit of that. Mm. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, alright, alright. I can do that too. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, 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 watch. Yeah! Again! Pitiable Arisen! One and jam. Again. Hit him with a big Murray. Ow. Right in the heart meats. Get him in the heart meats. Right in the big, right in the sweet meats. An overgrown Gragon. out of his anus. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, don't tell me he got away. 
I didn't even see him fly away though. Which way did he go? I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Dang dragon. Run away. Run away, coward dragon. Coward dragon. Ooh, what's that? Whoop. Oh, right down the hole. I was whooping his booty cheeks. That's why. He ran because I was whooping his booty cheeks. He knew. He knew it was going to be over real quick because I was whooping them cheeks. The big old pot of gold down there. Did I find the leprechaun stash? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Let me through, pitiable arisen. Alright, this is the town I was supposed to check back on. Uh, that I... I, uh, yeah. Supposedly, they were supposed to be, you know, fixing up the place, and they wanted me to see their progress. You know? Come back. Check out our progress. See how we've been doing. How we've been doodin'. The old man is strange in word and deed, yet I can't quite bring myself to dismiss his tales for all that. Curious. Sir Arisen, thank heavens you've come. Saurians have claimed the village yet again, if you can believe it, just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once a four, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temper. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the... These Saurians are a stubborn lot. What's that, Master? Saurians! Nicely done. I can do no less than service. Bad idea. The Arisen has been drenched. My curative of magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. You have defeated the Saurians once again. The Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. Mm -hmm. You're more than a friend to Har Village, Saurism. Truly, we cannot. Th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave. How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt he's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastrin to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrins go causing problems, and we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after them. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous! There! 
I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. A ruder fellow I never met. The village's troubles are far from done, if you ask me. Goodbye, racist pig. <laughs> that boy ain't have nothing but racist things to say. Always the beastrin's fault. Ah, oh, always the humans cleaning up the beastrin's mess. Yeah, well. Wow. Don't worry, you don't gotta clean up any messes anymore. You don't gotta clean up any messes anymore. You are, um, you're gone. This is generally used as a material. Hey, hey, hey! Why are you back? Come over here. Come over here. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Mm -mm. Yeah, fight all you want. I don't care. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. I'm going to feed you to the dragon. What we got around here? Oh, so you have chosen death. Just when are you planning to return? Am I to be left by the way? What's up, Jonas? Yeah, nobody likes you. Go suck it. All right, where are we according to the map? Um, we came like all the way back to basically where we were, which is not really what we want to do. So we want to go back this way. We could start traveling south. We could take the port key back to the village, which we got plenty of fairy stones. So that's not a bad idea. Um, let's do that. Let's let's take a port key back. I say port key. I mean uh, a fairy stone. Down, down, down by the river, I threw that racist pig into the water and killed him dead and I didn't move on again. Down, down, down by the river. Alright, we need to go to the vocationist and see what kind of... Um, extra doojanks we can summon now because we should be able to get some more passives, upgrade our skills a little bit, you know, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, smackety smackety blackety blackety, bookety tickety, wickety wickety, smackety wackety. Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? Yes. We'll make our way there in time. We're working at it. whether it will be sooner or later, that is for the Arisen to decide. Hey Cody. Why does your butthole stink? Why can't you stink a butt? Did you clean it? Did you clean your stink a butt? Hmm? Did you? I'm well, talking to you, sir. Big nose. You can just barely see his nose poking into the camera. Nose. I'll see his nose. Look at his nose. Let me see your nose. Let me see your snoot. Let me see your snoot. 
I'm gonna see the snoot. Let me look in there. Let me see if we got any boogums in there. You got any boogums in there? Any boogums in there? Got some boogums? Where the boogums at? Ooh, you got some boogums in there. It's grody. You got boogums in there. Big crusty ones. You got big crusty boogums. What are you gonna do about them big crusty boogums, Cody? Tifus, does Tifus? Oh no, I got the big monster Tifus. <laughs> Cause I quit it. Well met. Mess with my Tifus. Oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. So that's rude. Who are you? Say, are you satisfied with your current? You wish to shine like a jewel among your peers. Is that not so? Well, lucky. No, I don't want tattoos. Ow, Cody. Why you just be bumping people like that? Bumping bumper? Bumping bumper from bumping town? No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've well got any finding. 22 out of 220 collected. Wow. All right. So let's see what I can do. I got rank six so far. I can get another. I can get another do jank. So. Pertinacity improves your ability to break through an opponent's guard. Vitality increases your maximum health. Impact improves your ability to push and pull targets when grabbing hold. Uh, metal augments your physical defense. Provocation increases the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Thu enables you to carry additional weight. Nice. Can I get anything else? I can get... Ladder launch... Oh, I can get in spirit. That's the next one of that skill that I'm using. I kind of want to try this uh, savage. Uh, What's that? Null breaker. I'm just going to grab all these. Alright, I kind of want to change her up a little bit. What's this deathly arrow? An advanced form of dire arrow that inflicts a greater harm and has the ability to pin smaller targets to the walls. Press the assign button, steady shot, and press the assign button. When the bow is drawn, release or press the assign button again.
Poison arrow seems kind of nice. Hmm. I kind of want to see her play around with this deathly arrow. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business with you. Actually, we can see how much money we made on the way back. Sell some stuff, store some equipment away. Yada yada yada, blah 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 blah, yaggy yaggy yaggy, smaggy smaggy smaggy. Look around, you my services don't come cheap. Looks like we can upgrade the Gnostic wings. Do it again. So those are finished. We can uh, upgrade the Batal turban. I'm kind of mad we didn't get a dragon scale from the last dragon we killed. Bolt scale, great griffin claws. Mind. This can go. Good lord, this one's been working, isn't she? Looks like she didn't use any of the books I on her. Prize that could go. Let's go turn in this You're ripened, welcome. ripened to do jank before we forget. Look as long as you please. Have you brought me a quince? Hmm, I must have accidentally sold it. I didn't realize he wanted a ripened quince. Do a man of kindness. Tis do come again. I'm not really sure how long it takes to ripen a quince. Me? Nice now. This hardly bears saying, but don't you... Wraith Greaves. I 
Wow, these dapper chosses have 10 slashing resistance and 10 strike resistance. They're actually really nice for her. Dare try to take. Let's get rid of the bush raiders. Take anything without. That's what I was trying to tell everybody too, Sean. It's like, it's like the microtransactions are so. Are you are on such first. bland items that you can literally get, just by playing the game normally that. The only people who must be taking advantage of that kind of stuff are people who just, I don't, I don't know, it's just, I, what are you just, are you that lazy, basically, is what I'm thinking to myself, is, I'm thinking you guys are, are so lazy that you're buying the stuff from the shop instead of just running around and finding it, and, Sounds kind of mean, but I mean, it's the truth. Sounds kind of mean, but it's actually not. Oh, okay. I kind of like that griffin feather hood, though. That's kind of nice looking. That griffin feather hood looks really neat on her. Makes her look like Hawk Girl. It's got less magic defense, but more physical defense. Hmm. The one that she's got on right now that I found was the Batali Turban, which is... Uh, more magic defense, less physical. So, and as a ranged character, I'm really sure which one she needs more, to be honest. I mean, to be honest with you, and you guys might not like me for this for saying this but I've always enjoyed microtransactions as a convenience however and it's very important that I say this if the company creates the convenience then it's not as cool right so like the difference is is like you know when you go to 7-Eleven and you buy a bag of chips in the middle of the night like freaking you know like 2 a.m at night and you get yourself a bag of chips for like six dollars for one bag you know that is a convenience because the grocery store is closed right so that's the convenience well if you create a convenience just so that you can charge people six dollars a bag that's something different so like let's say you go to the grocery store and there's just no chips right there's just none and the guy at 7-Eleven, like, I don't know, let's pretend he's like the Monopoly man. He's like twirling his mustache. And the mustache is literally just, you know, he's just going like this. And he's behind him. He has all of the chips, right? He's just bought all the chips from, from the grocery store. And if you want a bag of chips, you have no choice but to buy the bag of chips from him, right? There's a difference between creating a convenience, right? Which is basically, in this particular case, it's literally buying out the entire store so that you have no choice but to go pay $6 a bag from 7-Eleven or just having it so that, you know, like when you want it at a specific time, there's a place that you can get it at, right? So like, I think that, I think the moral of the story is, is that if you create the game first and then add the micro transactions later, I think you're usually fine because then the micro transactions aren't specifically designed and balanced around what's inside the game. Instead, they're just offering you things that you can already obtain within the game, right? But if you design the game with the microtransactions in mind, then you're creating the convenience, and in that case, I don't think it's acceptable. Hmm. <laughs> 
Many thanks. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. Yep. It's the necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. Welcome. As a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate, we offer excellent service. Okay. Deposits. You can go in a shop. You can go, you can go, you can go in a shop. You can go, you can go, you can go in a shop. Shibidi, bibidi, bibidi, boo. Sometimes I wonder, coding. I really wonder if you're special. Because. The number of times you bump me, it's either got to be deliberate or you're just not very smart. So either you're just really mean. <laughs> or you're just dumb. I mean, how many times do you got to bump me? Literally, it's just, just like straight up shake my whole chair like an earthquake before you realize that you're being rude. Rude. I'm going to conk you on the head. So do not conk me, pitiable arisen. Pitiable arisen. Well, isn't there like an advanced edition that literally includes a bunch of the, uh, like the DLC, or sorry, not DLC, uh, microtransaction stuff in the pack? Like, I was pretty sure, and I can't remember 100%, but I was pretty sure that there was actually like a pack that you buy, and it actually had a lot of that stuff in it. For free. Um, it's like part of like the deluxe edition, I think, or something like that. It comes, it just comes with the deluxe edition. Cody, what do you be do then? Cody, what do you do? Do be do be do then? Mr. Kubus, a boo bus, yes. Yes, a Kubus, a boo bus, so oh, yes. A Mr. Kubus, a boo bus boy. Why you gotta be a Kubus, a boo bus boy? A coo bus a boo bus, him's a boo bus boy. Coo bus a boo bus, him's a boo bus boy. Take out some of these things. What is this one? This one is the Thieves Blades of Pyre. Thieves. This is not really what I'm interested in. Coo bus. What do you want? Yummy pee nose. Yummy pop your pimpums. <laughs> it's not. It's a don't day. Come here. Come here. Come here. How about I do this? How about I put you in a headlock? Hmm? And how about we go like this and we get it just come on. Watch this right.
Right job. But <clears throat> Cody said, do not crouch up me. Do not crouch up me. LaPost.net. I get the weirdest freaking email sometimes. I know they're junk most of the time, but sometimes they're not, and it's really strange. Always a pleasure. Why does it cost so much to freaking stay well, here? Better. Welcome, and as a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate, we offer excellent service. It is good to be busy. Work begets opportunity. Why do you charge 9,999 gold to rest here? Really now. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. Why they charge so much dang money? Why they charge so much dang money? Why they charge so much, so much dang money? Why they charge so much dang money? Why they charge so much dang money? Why they charge so much dang money? Why do they charge so much dang money? I don't understand where. Alright, we need to get the hell out of here. Code. Did you get some to eat? Did you get some watums? Did you find a beef jerk? Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. <laughs> I like asking him questions. He thinks about all the questions I ask him. I don't know if he actually knows what I'm saying or even cares what I'm saying, but he always he always makes a uh, makes it look like he's thinking about what I'm asking. Cody, did you get any of them porkum twists? Cody, did you play with the chinches? Freight, and it looks as if it could bear a significant load. Did you play? Did you play with the chinches? Did you play with the chinches? You did play with the chinches. I saw you play with the chinches. Did they bite your lip? Did they bite your nose? <laughs> Griffin down there. Yeah, get him, Gina. Bumping me? We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversity. Who the hell died? Where the hell did you die at? Yeah, I think you're just gone. I hate to say it, but you're just. I don't. I'm not coming back for you. That's going to be annoying until she dies. Oh 
Oh my god. Can I live over here? That is not living. That is dying. That is me being dead. I can't stand fighting the small monsters with this character. This character sucks at fighting small monsters. Like, absolutely, like, dirt, terrible level, like, small character fighter. Just terrible. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to, like, fix that, because his attacks are so slow that the smaller characters, like, the monsters that can attack quickly with relatively low damage outputs, like, if you get two or three of them next to you in a row and they start attacking in sequence, you literally cannot attack back. Like, you literally cannot counterattack. You're just stuck in an ever-loving loop of ridiculousness. Shall we go and speak with this Oracle Master? Certainly, Master. I can take you to this. We are going right here. This is where we're going. Well, Everybody on board. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. I didn't appreciate in um, in Skyrim. I really didn't appreciate how terrible the um, uh, what's the term? magic. Like, the magic in Skyrim felt really bad. I don't know how to put it, really, other than that. It just felt really bad. Most of the time, even if you wanted to make, like, a max level, like, magic user, you always ended up not using magic, because it was terrible. I like Skyrim. Uh, I really wish the magic had been more impactful than useful. But the truth is, is it just, it wasn't. I need to take the main road. I shan't allow any further harm to come. Of that campfire over there. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Yes, of course. It's always a challenge to see who can keep pace. And if you don't keep up, well, well, yeah, well, we just don't want you in the no group. No sense so. letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. One of us has been poisoned. Okay. Shida, what are you doing down there? Why is there all why are you always in the wrong place? Always.
getting real tired of this two-handed spec already. I can't wait till I'm finished leveling it up and I can move on. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. I mean, has magic ever really been viable in Skyrim? I mean, I've, I've played a lot of Skyrim. Don't get me wrong. I've played a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of Skyrim. And, I mean, like, like many, many thousands, probably tens of thousands of hours of Skyrim. I've tried to kill monsters, like dragons. Like, I'll use dragons as my benchmark, okay? Killing a dragon with magic is like pulling your own teeth out of your face with some rusty pliers so close, course, with no grips. No in... And also no aesthetic. No aesthetic. And also um, you got like a really bad cut on like the hand that the pliers is being held by. It's pretty bad. Put it that way. I mean, there's so much wrong with the magic in Skyrim. There's so much wrong with it. It's not just the damage output. It's not rest. just the the Watch magicka that it consumes. It's not so just full. the... It's like... It's, it's also the travel the speed. The, the actual ability for it to hit the target when it's supposed to hit the target. Um... Uh, the, the the range Fairly of it, like it's all very badly designed. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. What's up, Edward? Okay, we got our rest. I gotta get off of this freaking two handed. This thing sucks. Yeah, but Sean, the problem with a lot of those spells that you just listed is that I don't consider those to be magic. I, I hate to say it, but Conjure Ice Elemental or Conjure Fire Elemental or whatever does not count as a magical spell. That's a summoning spell. And the summoning stuff actually did work pretty good in Skyrim. Nobody is going to contest that. But summoning is not magic. And magic is not summoning. They're not the same thing. You summon with magic, yes. But you are not actually casting spells yourself. And because you're not actually casting spells yourself, I don't consider it to be a magical attack. I'm sorry, muffle. And same thing with, with the other abilities that you have there. So like Muffle... And the other buffs that would be considered buffs toward a physical spec. So if you're a mage that is casting spells to allow you to dish out more damage in range or melee or to sneak better, um, things like that, I honestly don't even consider magic either because they're more along the lines of enhancements. And enhancements can be used in many different ways. Most of my characters had a pair of muffle boots. So what good is being able to cast the spell muffle when I can just have a pair of boots that does it for me? Um, and there are a lot of things like that in Skyrim. So I don't really consider that to be uh, it either. What I'm talking about is specifically casting fire, ice, lightning, whatever it may be. Just never does enough damage. It's not useful enough in combat. It costs too much actual magicka to cast. Like, most of the time, you can never kill anything with those spells. Let alone dragons. Do not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. There's no great shock to me. Magic weapons would be considered the same thing as melee. 
So if you're conjuring magical weapons and then you're using those magical weapons to kill monsters with them, you're basically still a melee character. Or a ranged character, depending on which magical weapon, ranged or melee, that you summoned. And that's perfectly fine, but it still falls into the melee or ranged category. therein lies the problem, is that, even, that no matter what spell you cast to actually dish out damage directly from the spell, none of them are actually capable of really doing much of anything to the targets that you cast them on. You know it's probably the most powerful uh, spell, or, or sorry, magical See, attack in frickin' Skyrim? It's the Wabajack we'll Staff. And, and you know what the funny thing is about the Wabajack Staff? Is that even though once you transform somebody into a, you know, like a sweet roll, for instance, or like you transform them into a rabbit or something stupid like that, you still gotta actually physically kill them. I've done full magic playthroughs of Skyrim. They failed miserably every single time. Most of the time you can hardly even kill anything at all at the beginning of the game. Um, if you focus on leveling up just your magic archetype, the one that you actually want to level up for damage output, you can't kill anything. The only way to actually level up a mage in Skyrim is to, to basically go out there and attack with other spells that are not usually attack spells and use those non-attack spells to level up a your character. Reward. Frustratingly so. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh, I've played today's Skyrim. I've played all the versions of Skyrim. Skyrim, Skyrim Special Edition. I played the Nintendo Switch Edition. I've played the the new Skyrim Special Edition Anniversary Edition. I've played all of them. Uh, the Anniversary Edition actually oh, includes several here. mods into the game as well. Um, I actually have some playthrough up of it already on the channel of the uh, of the anniversary edition, no less, the one of the newer editions. I don't think there's a newer edition than the anniversary edition, not yet anyway. <laughs> I say that with a little bit of a joke in my heart because I know that uh, that there will be another edition. It's only a matter of time. Dragon over there. Honestly, I think being a mage is impossible. I I would go so far as to say, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down on record, that I think being a mage, a pure mage, with no other no other doojanks involved, that a pure So you so this is this is important. I'm gonna set down the rules for a pure mage. A pure mage is impossible. All right, and I'm going to set down the rules for this. No melee. 
no ranged, can't rely on Merc, your, your summon, whatever you call it in, in Skyrim, I can't even remember, cannot rely on Merc. Um, in fact, if possible, Mage Merc. So if, if possible, you have to go Mage Merc as well. Uh, which I don't even know how many mage mercs there are out there. Um, and the reason why is because if you go with a melee merc, you're going to completely spoil it. In my opinion, melee and ranged are basically the superior forms of damage within the game. And these spoil basically the entire character. So you will spoil the character by using any of these. And if you use any of these, then you're not a pure mage. It's basically what I'm saying. So if you are a pure mage, you have to have no melee and no ranged. Um, and this includes summons. So summons, in my opinion, are a a cheat, um, which basically allow you to bypass the rule of no melee and no ranged. So in this way, you're still using melee and ranged through the summons. So you have to also restrict the summons. So no summons. So if you can make a actual character work with no summons, then you can make the mage work, and I will eat my words. But a pure mage is basically impossible. You cannot set up a pure mage with only magical attacks that dish out damage and magical means that do not use melee or range damage and that are not augmenting melee or range damage. It's this Skyrim is like next to impossible to set up specifically for a pure like destruction, fire magic, ice magic, lightning magic mage. And we can even put that on there. So a pure mage is impossible. Fire magic, lightning magic, ice magic, which means that you have to actually kill with this. You have to be able to kill the target with the actual magical spell that you are casting. If you can't kill the target with the magical spell that you're casting, if you're relying on your summons to do it, if you're relying on your mercenary to do it, if you're using ranged or melee, then it's not a pure mage. And in Skyrim, pure mages are basically impossible. They just don't work. I mean, that's the problem, though, Sean. The problem is, is that most of the spells in the mage's repertoire are either A, non-combat, B, meant to augment melee or ranged, C, are utilized in weird things like transmutation of gold or stupid stuff like muffling your sneaking abilities. Like, almost all of them seem to be in some way pointed at non-mage type abilities essentially like this is like the destruction mage over there like gandalf fire and fireballs out of his staff and then over here is like all the non-combat stuff and that's kind of the whole point the point is is that the combat mage the mage that actually dishes out ice fire and lightning out of his staff can't kill anything he sucks I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. There was a dragon over here. I saw his wing. You're absolutely correct. Magic is more deserved diverse than simply swing a sword or shoot bow. You're right. But in most games, magic has the ability to kill enemies. And in Skyrim, magic does not have the ability to kill enemies. I would even go so far as to say that the Wabajack, one of the most powerful magical spells in the game, by the way, literally still doesn't kill enemies. 
which is really quite unfortunate because honestly the Wabajack doesn't do anything on its own you have to then augment it with melee or ranged attacks usually maybe if you gifted yourself a Wabajack and an infinite number of crystals to recharge the Wabajack using a destruction mage you might be able to beat the game maybe of magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. I mean, that's kind of my point. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, go get, go play, pick up Skyrim. You know, pick up Skyrim. I mean, maybe not now because this game's out and it's really fun. But go pick up Skyrim. Go level up a mage. Start with the destruction tree. Level up the destruction tree. Try to kill things with the destruction tree, right? So from scratch, be a destruction mage, right? See how difficult it is. Number one, to kill anything. Number two, to keep your mana full. Number three, literally, like, even when you do kill something, you will literally exhaust, like, all of your resources killing that one thing. It's absolutely pathetic. And as you level up in the destruction tree, which, which believe it or not, in the early levels, because you have to cast so much destruction magic to kill one target, you actually do level up pretty fast, right? But the problem is, is that in Skyrim, every time you level, the monsters level. And so you literally get to the point where, like, yes, your damage is increasing, but their health is increasing too, and it's actually increasing faster than your damage is increasing. And so what happens is, is your destruction magic gets worse as you level it, not better, which has got to be the silliest thing in the world. And you feel like eventually as you get your character high enough that like you're literally degrading, like your character's just getting worse as you, as you actually progress through the game. And eventually it gets to the point where you feel like you can't kill anything. Cause once the monsters get to a certain level and their HP gets high enough, your destruction magic spells are just tickling them. Name me one spell other than destruction magic that is not a melee or ranged ability that you can kill a monster with. So name me one spell that is not in the destruction tree that is not melee or ranged attacks that can kill a monster. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. Yes. Oh, he bit me. The enchantment table. I'm not exactly sure how the enchantment table would help you with spells. I mean, you could enhance your spell damage. And yes, you could basically enchant items to the point where your spells dish out large amounts of damage. But how would that, uh, I don't even know, I don't even think that would actually help you kill anything.
Mm. I'm getting my booty checks. Let me, oh yeah, yeah, quenching for when I'm on fire. Yep, 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 yep. That guy is going to burn me to death. I ain't got much choice in the matter. I'm stuck in an odd place. I don't like where we're fighting. Destruction is not a ranged spell. Well, not, it's... <sighs> See, now y'all being just facetious. The point is, is that spells are completely different than ranged or melee. Anything that dishes out damage as a spell dishes out damage in a way that is completely foreign to the way that ranged and melee dishes out damage. They don't dish out damage in the same way. And because they don't dish out damage in the same way, they're separate from each other. So the destruction magic tree is literally its own special form of damage output. The three different t types of damage are usually melee, ranged, and spell. The destruction tree is literally the only tree that literally counts as a spell. Sean, you're just mad that I'm right. That's all there is to it. You're just mad that I'm right. You're just mad that I'm right. And that's okay. Be mad. Oh god. Boy, I ain't got no chance against this dragon for some reason. I think it's the positioning that I'm in, like where I'm sitting, it's really difficult for me to get proper advantage on this guy, but holy crap, I have like no chance versus this guy. I've killed a lot of dragons so far. A whole two. And... <laughs> a whole two, guys. A whole two.
No. I'm crawling. My party is, um, me, the two-handed warrior or whatever. I don't know. Uh, yeah, my strider, and then I got a sorcerer, and then the, the healing mage. I was a tank. I was. Not a tank anymore. I'm so sick of this climbing mini game. Like, I, I, half the time I try to climb up places, and then they he moves, and then when he moves, I, I, the direction that you're that you use for climbing changes, and and as the direction that you move for climbing changes, it causes issues. So you you keep, you, you end up going the wrong way all the time. Like, I totally just missed out on that whole thing because I ran out of stamina. And I ran out of stamina because I climbed the wrong way like six times. Is there a freaking ogre here? There is an ogre here with the freaking dragon fight. This is great. Big bottom boom. I'm surprised I'm e I'm even alive right now. That was crazy. I think they took I think he took out all three of my dudes and knocked me down. I'm literally crawling. Crawling away at the moment, just trying to survive. <laughs> this is rough. I am not losing this fight. I am not. I am not going to lose this fight if I can help it. So many explosion.
And he's gonna throw me. Still not done yet. Of course. That's going to be the end of me. I don't think I have anything left to heal with. Scrag a beast meat, I guess. He's so close to dying. I'm trying to make sure I don't die in the process. Come on. One. Two. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need just one of these attacks. It was a glorious success. Would that we might always be so in step, eh? Hey, we got a bunch of dragon scales. Look at that. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. That was a hard one fight. That was hard one indeed. Rough. Is there a campsite? I think there's a campsite near here. It's taking every ounce of my strength just to remain standing. I'm Will so this march no. never end? Yeah, no, never. I only never. hope we don't encounter any foes. Never gonna end. Never. never gonna end ever it's gonna be going on forever and ever and ever it's totally not ending right now this is not it this is not the end don't don't pay attention to this this is not the end don't take a nap don't close your eyes this isn't over
Naught like a feast to get you ready for bed. I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Yeah. Food. Yummy. Delicious food. Delicious. This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Is a glad thing you dress up like a Try not to get hit, lest all that wind goes to waste. What's up, Kyle? Catch my breath on my own without your help. I mean, don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoy the damage output of this class. I feel like the damage output is probably the best thing about this class. Other than the damage output, though, the character sucks. So easy to die on this character. All it takes is uh, just two or three, well, three, three monsters and in attacking you at the same time, and that's pretty much all you need. And if you run out of stamina, dear Lord Jesus, forget about it. I knew you would come, a risen one. Okay. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you aught I can. Aught I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth. A warmth akin to your own arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. Twould seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth, so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if... Stay with me, Arisen. Wait right there. He who was dragon forged, eh? Perhaps we ought to seek out this man and his wisdom in Half Village. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. So Vanguard is yours. <clears throat> lead on. What the hell is a trickster class? That sounds kinda cool.
escaped well enough. Where to next? About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you today. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best spend the night. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I am quite sure I mentioned it, but I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death, as he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Oh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget, and to... I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything, every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales aplenty to... Heavens, friend, I'd ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these before I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray Nort Grave shall come of it. It seems aught has occurred within the depths of Stormwind Cave. But what? I wonder. I'm not sure what to tell you. I'd fain lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. A cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? We'd best be prepared to make our own lights before we proceed. Understood. I was kind of hoping there would be a spear-based class. I really would like a spear-based class. That would be neat. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. No doubt this trial will spur us into the next. I have found a couple spears, so I'm assuming there is a spear-based class. I just don't know what it is. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research.
Battle is best avoided here. Hang in there, Master. I am coming to assist. Dear Lord Jesus. <laughs> Mystic spear hand? Is that what it's called? Sounds Would like you mind one. Coming over here? Sounds like something I'll have to eventually uh, unlock. is not as I remember it. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation. Mm -hmm. There's a chest I got last time I was here. The flicker of a shadow, the gleam of an eye, the echo of a footfall. If we hone our senses, no... F I'd fail lead the way. If you would be so kind as to follow me. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Oh, the door's open now. Okay. I remember coming here and the door was closed. It seems to me we'll find some rare materials here. Well, well. That's quite a discovery. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. We cannot well, break it from this side. In this game, Perhaps. it's in this game, it's good to level up um, other classes anyway. Um, and the reason is is because you get uh, passives. 
um, the passive transfer over between characters. So if so, now that I have the warrior passives and I have the um, fighter passives, when I do level up to Mystic Spearhand, I'll be able to choose whatever passives I want and really kind of like min max the passives out to the to the best of my ability. It'll uh, it'll probably be the strongest out of the three because I'll have all the passives to pull from. Including the passives that the One Mystic Spear Hand has. Too many of these. One at the next we encounter. And thanks for spoiling it! Nah, I knew there was a spear class because I kept finding random spears, but... Mystic Spear Hand needs some of the Mage Vocation. Hmm. I definitely don't have any of that. Might so have to go level up some Mage stuff. Another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Time and again have you sent unto me your minions. Yet repel them I have, and so I shall anew, till I might claim the true world as mine own. Why do you not draw your blade? <laughs> this battle shall be o'er before it has even begun. You seek not my death. Hmm. Then you are not of the Watching One. I am Rothas, founder of the Kingdom of Vermin. And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's way. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of Batal. Even from these depths, I have beheld the Batali scuttling about, gathering their fragments. It is a baleful, maddening act. To transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. Aye, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact, for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful Arisen. Who were bade come here by the Watching One to end me? The flesh may rot, the soul fragment, yet power, power endures. And would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Though to what nefarious end, I know not. Yet it is folly, the frolicking of children. Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the watching one. I know little of your intent, but I sense in you a powerful will. A will that urges you towards fulfillment of some great I shall grant you this blade. It too is the soul of an arisen. Mine own, in fact. Refined in purest dragon blood. A 
alas, the ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, Arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe tis there you shall find the means to achieve it. Okay. Is it a one-hander? Because we might be switching back to fighter. <laughs> Mega Golem? Mecha, Mecha Golem? Dulled Godsbane Blade. A sword given to you by Torthias, the Mad Sovereign, the blade's edge is dulled and devoid of luster, formed of blue shards, fragments of the original soul. Hmm. Can't equip it. I saw something here. It did a shiny. Undead! Holy attacks will prove most effective against it. Travel wheresoever we please. Wheresoever we, we please. The time of dire need. Where the hell am I? I cannot guide us to this task's completion as we lack all that we require for it. Oh, Chida's getting left behind. I guess you're just stuck down there forever. Oh, it's already a broken wall. Never mind. I'm over here trying to break the wall. There's already one broken. Visibility is poor here. <coughs> Be wary of enemies lying in ambush. Keep your voice low, lest my heart leap from my throat. Silver crown. We found a key, did we not? We Miner's well shirt. Hold on. Huh. What about this way? What's this way? Dead end. Panther's coat. Job. Get to smash. 
Smash, 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 smashy, smash, smash. We got to smash, 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 smashy, smash, smash. We're gonna smash. The skeleton smash. We're gonna smash. The skeleton skulls. We're gonna smash. Skeleton skulls. We're gonna smash. What are you doing? All of the skulls. We've not been given leave to rest yet. Open up the door and see what's inside. And we got some rotten food that wasn't really good. Ring of Profusion. Hmm. Seafloor Shrine, Sacred Grounds. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Okay. What's that look? Looks shallow enough. Maybe I can cross. That does look shallow. Ish. Can I cross this? No. I mean, maybe if I like ran and jumped for it and like tried to like minimize my time in the water, perhaps, but I doubt it. Okay, well, yeah. I don't know why I did that, but... There's also another one over here I could make it to. I feel like there's got to be something important over here for them to make a makeshift pathway like this that you can kind of follow almost die like half the time while you're trying to in my leading the way if we haven't got what we require to hand ah. oh I think they're about to die forfeit main spawn if your main spawn becomes forfeit you'll need to touch a rift stone to return them to your side yep they all got eaten in the water because they, they they just followed me in and died that was great of them. It's okay. I'm exploring right now anyway, so... Let's just see if I can find out what I can find out about this place. It's kind of interesting to explore this area. I bet you there's hidden secrets all over this place. I could be horribly wrong, and well, there might be nothing over here at all. I don't know. Maybe I just sacrificed all my pawns for nothing. I'm not sure about these brine mechanics. I don't know exactly how terrible these brine mechanics are, or what they do, or like how long does it take before you get murdered in the water? Like, I don't know. It seems like momentary visits to the water don't really cause all that much trouble. But it also seems like if you run out of stamina while you're in the water, it might not be 
a good thing. This place. This place seems mostly devoid of any life or objects. Like, not only am I not finding any monsters, but I'm also not finding any loot either. Like, no chests, no random clickables, no flowers, no, like, ore nodes. It's pretty dry. I mean, there's lots of places that look like there could potentially be stuff, but then there's nothing there. I don't, I don't know. Cody, Mr. Bumpin' McBumpin' McGee over here. Alright, let's head back, because there's nothing over here. So let's, let's just keep on searching. If there's anything that way. Up one of the towers. Hey, the first chest I've seen in, like, the entire time I've been here. And some figs. I hear you over there messing with the chanchies. You better be nice to them. Because if anything happens to the chinchies, I'm gonna bury you in the same hole. You, dear guardian, they're your responsibility. Gotta keep it safe. <laughs> Cody said, "Dang, that's that's dang." He said, "Dang, that's rough." He said, "Dang." So that's gonna be a pretty big hole. I'm big dog. So you're gonna do a lot of digging. You're gonna have to do lots of digging. I wanna see what else is here. Let's check the other side. That just takes me kind of back where I was. Yeah, like up, up a little bit, but not really. Oh, another chest. So there are chests here. They're just hit. Uniter's mantle. What does the Uniter's mantle look like? Mantle fashioned from fur and woven cloth, so decadently comfortable as to instill the wearer with a sense of boldness and grandeur. I like it. It looks neat. Looks like I have a dragon's mane. Decadently comfortable. You hear that, boys? Decadently comfortable. Not just comfortable, but decadently so.
right, well, that pretty much covers most of this area. I mean, this takes us back up here. Which brings us to the top of this tower, which... I don't know if there's any other way we can exploit being up this high. Like, is there any way we can jump off, like... Here? Kinda-ish? Is there, like, a treasure chest up there? There's definitely a freaking. There's a ledge right there, and then it looks like you could potentially get up into there. I don't know. There's so much doojanks all over the place in this one. I don't think I could make it from here to there, though. I could make it to that little bridge looking thing down there. me. There's also this down here. I don't think that helped me at all. I don't, I don't think that helped me at all. In fact, I think I'm stuck now. I don't see any other way out. Doesn't look like I can get on top of this. I thought I could. I thought that ledge would have been big enough, but... Is that ledge really not big enough to stand on? It totally looks like it's big enough to stand on. Oh, okay. Can we... Can we squeeze along the edge here? Oh, dear Lord Jesus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, how the hell am I supposed to make that jump? I don't even... Th oh! Oh god. Yeah, almost fell right in. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump around that corner. That's... <laughs> that is not doable. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Alright, let's see. Let's get back up here. My pawns are dead. They're dead. They're dead, Sean. I mean, Charles, they're dead. I killed them. I K-I-L-L-E-T. I killed them. I killed them all. Kubas. Do you love your mama? Do you love the chinchies? Do you love the cats? Do you love me? <laughs> Do you love your snoot? He said, what about my snoot? My snoot is for snooting. He said, it's got a job. It does a good job. If it does that job, it's good at it, I guess. Tells me all the secrets of the universe and, and stuff. He's like, I can sniff how many beef jerkums that you had and you didn't give me one. He said, and I can sniff all them cheeses over there that you're not eating. And I can sniff. I mean, I didn't kill them on purpose. I was just swimming across the water and they decided to go for a swim and die. I mean, I didn't want them to die. It was kind of... But they just kind of had their own, own thoughts on the matter. Obatal Coastline. Why do you gotta be such a weirdo? What is it? Though, from what I understand, you're still willing to pay for Blue Crystal Shard. Do 
He's returned to his laboratory, huh? To his laboratory. The Tory of Labor. Oh. <laughs> Cody did it. <laughs> you ready to go? You are ready to go. He said, I'm ready to go. He said, okay, I got it. He said, I got my hat. He said, I got my, my shoes. He said, I'm going to go get my alligator. And we're ready to go. And where's my pillows? I got my pillows. Go get you. Go get your pillow. I'm messing with Cody. I'm messing with him. Looks like the laboratory is right there. We're like right next to the base. We can we can just we can just run there. It's not a big deal. I ain't gonna burn a fairy stone with them when I'm this close. <laughs> For some pizzas, all of anything. Where's this alum gator? Give me no, give me this gator. Give me this. What you got? Is that your bone? That's your bone. That's your that's your boomerang bone. You like that bone? That's not a pillum though. I asked you to go get your pillum, sir. He said, "Dang it!" He said, "You're right. This is not a pillum." I know. I just thought maybe you might want a bone. Where's your pillow? Go get your pilums. Where's your pillow? Silly boy. You know, I gotta admit, it's kind of nice not having the the freaking pawn like in my ear, just every five seconds, it's telling me how stupid of a job I'm doing. I'm like, you're an idiot. Didn't? You, why are you caring so much? Why do, why do you have to pick up everything? I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Oh, sorry, that one's from that one's from Skyrim. My bad. The Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory is under the direct command of Lord Faces. No documents other than articles will be taken from the premises without his leave. I wonder what it's like. Oh, they got a dragon? You got a dragon too? I guess a dragon, and I killed lots of dragons. You guys killed a dragon? How you guys killed this dragon? How you do this? I don't believe you guys did this. I call, I call shenanigans. That's what I call. Shenanigans. A lonely place, but not without its charm. Laboratory chemical stores. I'm literally just raiding this place. I don't even care. Give me everything that you got, my friends. I'll take everything that you got in the end. Yo ho. Black crystal. Ooh, I needed one of those. I needed... Oh, there's spitems down here. Oh, no. And there's bats, too. Bats and spitems. I do not tolerate idle chatter during missions. Well, I'm sorry. I just want to say hi. Just introduce myself. Hello, I'm the Arisen. I control the pawns and I kill dragons. You know, but I mean, if you don't want to say hi to me, that's cool too, I guess. I mean, I don't really feel like it's cool, but. Hmm. Do I want to open any of these jail cells? I feel like these jail cells are meant for me. Journal Prisoners Becreos First Entry. I do not understand. Not once have we turned our backs upon the throne. Not once have we cast doubt upon our nation's faith. The precepts of the Lambent Flame, and yet we are to be deemed heretics. 
What is our crime? Investigating the magical artifacts believed to have been part of the Batal's history and recording our findings? Yet it was the Emperor Faleri himself who ordered our inquiry into the stone monuments dotted across Batal. Huh. Yeah. Scapegoat. That's what that is. They set you up to be a scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was a scapegoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put you down, down as a scapegoat town. Let's see what's inside one of these. I got two keys. Whoa. Whoa. There's something across the way, too. I guess that's one way to keep prisoners. I mean, basically, right? I mean, you can escape anytime you want to. Right there. You can escape whenever you want, my friends. Wherever you want. Can you beat Diablo 2 with no vitality? I mean, yeah. Maybe like a off-screen uh, Amazon. Off-screen Amazon's probably your best bet. It, she'll still have trouble with bosses and stuff like that, though. It'll be difficult. For sure. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell just happened? Did I go in like a full circle? I did go in a full circle. That's amazing. Huh. So, if the boss is up there, what's this door? Just a workshop? No, no, no. This is all wrong. What use of pitiful fragments such as these? Well, what we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... Recollections of Ambrosia's fifth entry. For many moons, our experiments proceed apace. During that time, the fruits of the diligent study of ancient tomes allowed me to use some of Lord Facephus's. What's more, our contributions to the obviation of calamity saw the state grant us an official budget and furnish us with a research facility tailored to our aims. By the time this laboratory was erected, Lord Face's standing had become second only to that of the Empress. <laughs> Why you sound like that? <laughs> Plug up one of your nostril holes. What are you going to do now? Now you got a finger in your nose. What are you going to do? You got a finger nose. Nose finger. <laughs> you don't even care. You don't even care you got a nose finger. I stuck a piece of popcorn up his nose one time. And he sneezed it out and then ate it. He sneezed the popcorn out and then he ate it. It's delicious. Hmm. Still your wake stone shard. A new empress, Her Majesty Nadina, was crowned and yet the Forbidden Magic Research Laboratory has per persisted. Its research into dragon summons continued unbroken. The information we gleaned from our expedition of Moon Glint Tower provided vital on our attempts to render the power of Command Spawn's crystal form, eventually leading to our success with this. The day on which Lord Faces will realize his ambition to conquer the dragon is surely nigh. Farseer's Circlets. A golden circlet focusing the mind's eye upon the polished jewel over the brow inhibits tremors in the wearer's magics. Hmm. 
interesting. It's equipable by every single class. Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Bite your tail? I'ma bite your tail? I'ma bite it. <laughs> he thought no one bite my tail. Enchant energy shield bow sorceress? They're pretty fun, Miles. Um, okay. Here, you wanna see my dra my, my my sword? Why? Tis an arisen. This This is incredible. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No. Never mind. Tis of no consequence. All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a superior godsway, the finest of all created to date. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Phasus even a moment sooner. But wait, no. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Concern it all! <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you're offering? Worm's life crystals can only be obtained from drakes. But I suppose I'm in no position to decline, even if it is a fool's errand. Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Feel free to take what you require from the laboratory. Now, as I've said, Worm's Life Crystals can only be obtained from Drake's, all the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. You would be solving two of my problems, then. You've returned. Have you obtained any Worm's Life Crystals? Hmm. He wants 15 and I only have 9. Nah, something's wrong. Then I wish you good for... I have a lot more than that. They're probably in my stash. I have a lot more crystals than that. Oh, okay. Four books in there. Let me go back to my stash real quick and grab my, my Worm's Life crystals. They're heavy. I put them in the stash. Don't judge. know where I am in relation to the city. Where the hell is the city at? Okay. So just continue down this road. Not a big deal. Cody, quit fighting with the chinchies. What do he do to you? Call your mother fat? He gets so upset with them sometimes. I don't know what they do. They just come boop him on the nose and I guess he can't get them so he gets upset about it. Like, how dare they boop me on the nose? And they ran away. And they didn't let me boop them back. It's not fair. It's not fair. They're such mean boopy boopers. And then they always run away to the safety of their little house. And they can't do anything about it. And it cracks me up. He gets so upset. I'm watching him. He's watching the chinchies like a hawk. <laughs> Don't bork at the chinchies. Ah. Cody. No borking at the chinchies. He said, well, they started. I may have to close the inn here long. I fear for the future of this nation, sir. Alright, where's my Worm's Life Crystals? Look, see, 36 Worm's Life Crystals. There you go. 
all the worms life crystals that we need. Always a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for helping me access my stash. Appreciate it. I'm not still not paying you nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine gold for any of that, so you know, good luck. Well met. Why you gotta overcharge all the money in the world and I don't wanna pay you cause you're gonna be a pearl. Ooh, 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 Mr. Kubas on the boobas and the, and the fighting with the chinchies and they tell me what to do. Days be mean to me and I don't like it, no. They run, boop me on the nose and then, then they run away and then I can't boop them back and they gotta pay, so I bork him. Well met, Sir Arisen. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this villain in my stead? Sure, why not? My deepest thanks. Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. Okay. Flamebearer Palace. May this prayer bring you people's salvation. Why the hell am I even here? I was just running toward the thing to give him the crystals. I totally wouldn't even pay attention to none of this. The God's way. This word is unfamiliar to us. Of what do you sp Why is it leading me here in the first place? I don't understand. It's obviously not for her. The bed doesn't seem to matter. There doesn't seem to be anything behind the curtain either, not that I can tell. Certainly doesn't seem like it anyway. Nothing behind curtain number one, and nothing behind curtain number two. What the hell is this quest that led me here in the first place? A new God's Way. Oh. Ugh, that's disgusting. Okay, that's disgusting and I don't like it. So, it basically wasn't leading me here. That's the answer to my question. It was leading me somewhere else entirely. And because I think the, the laboratory is below this location, it basically led me here. But it, it's I'm above it, not instead of where I need to be. Sir, Emerald is a heartening ally for young Empress. I can only imagine how burdensome it is to carry the weight of the people's faith all while shouldering the percepts of the lambent flame. Perchance, Sir, Emerald's devotion to the majesty is a sacred fire protection. Some sacred gold protection in the corner there. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I should have paid attention on how to get back to that place because I don't even remember. I'm in the palace, apparently. I mean, I am in the right place, but I need to be up here, not down here. I guess I could take the main road back up to 
to the north. I'm close to where I need to be. I'm just not where I need to be. What the hell is this? The door that doesn't open. I dare say I could forget all my troubles here. Do 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 Oh, Kubis, Abubis, do you know the secrets? Oh, Kubis, Abubis, where I hide my snacks. Oh, Kubis, Abubis, do you have the tracks? Going to find all the yummy snacks. Peanut butter and jelly snacks. Got the Kubis treats, yes, yes, they do. All of the beef jerk comes for you. They got tasty, yummy, delicious, well yummy snacks. Met. I can see you're a customer. Say, you wouldn't be like vittles, sweet meat, none of those strike your fancy. That perked your ears up, eh? Tell you what, I'll even sell it to you for cheap. This stuff isn't easy to come by. And mine's the finest tasting for leagues about. Pleasure doing business. Would you look at that? The hell is Newt Liquor and why did I buy him? Cody, I'm gonna need you to sniff this Newt Liquor and I'm gonna need you to tell me what, what flavum it is. I need to know the flavums. Okay. Can you tell me what flavums? Is it spicy flavums? Sour flavums? Sweet flavums? Salty flavums, or is it a combination of 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 any of the, the flavums? Which one is it? You gotta tell me. You're my wingman. You're my buddy. You're my pal. You're my pooping partner. <laughs> You're my PP, my pooping partner. Surely you know with the big snooty ears. I need answers to these questions, and you are the one that has answers to these questions. So you gonna tell me? Is it uh, is it spicy? Is it sweet? Is it is it nasty? It's like duty. Does it taste like dudas? All right, let's give him these crystals and let's see what happens. You've returned. Have you obtained any worms like crystals? You have. Incredible! That is no small feat. I must admit, I had not thought you much chance of success. Mm -hmm. Yet here you are. And this, this is precisely what I require to complete my work. I shall delay. Come by again tomorrow. By then, I will... Come by again tomorrow. Thoughts on mac and cheese? Oh, man, I love macaroni and cheese. What, uh, what thoughts do you require on macaroni and cheese? Is it good? Yes. Is it tasty? Yes. Is it savory? Yes. <laughs> uh, macaroni and cheese is best cooked slowly and over a long period of time it, so that the cheese and the, and the pasta noodles almost become indiscernible from each other forbidden magic as it came to be called is a relatively new form of sorcery it was first introduced a little over four decades ago mm, cutting over here and breaking stuff uh, where are they? About four decades ago, uh, by a self proclaimed missionary who declared it means in which a mortal kind could forestall calamity. Of course, in this nation, calamity is but a euphemism for a ruinous advent of the dragon. And this new branch of spellcraft, with its roots in dark magic, was touted as the power to control the beast. Okay, power to control the beast. I doubt that worked. Okay, bumping chair, Cody. God dang. Bumpin', that's BCC, Bumpin' Chair Cody. Is 
said so. Said so what? That's on. This is the way we bump in chairs, bump in chairs, bump in chairs. This is the way we bump in chairs early in the morning. Got a bump in all the chairs. We go bump in every chair. Come on down, we're bumping chairs early Sir, in the morning. are you the arisen? I heard a rumor that a Medusa was seen there. Is it true? Because if so, that means tis no mere creature of legend, but a monster as real as any other. Know you the legend of the hero Danaus? Well, one version of the tale claims the hero's foe was a Medusa. The legend is inscribed here. You must take it and read it for yourself, sir, seeing as you've witnessed a genuine article. My favorite mac and cheese is the kind that is cooked and um, usually put on like a hot plate of some kind. Um, you know, like at like a restaurant they or like a like a buffet. Um let me see if I can find it. Usually sits inside of like a metal container. And uh, it looks something like this ish. Yeah, something like this. Um, but with extra steps. Okay, so hold on before I uh, before you go crazy. Alright, so if it if you find some mac and cheese that looks like this, that's been sitting in one of these like heated containers. I'm not really sure how else to put it. It's like a it's like a heated container that you can um I can I don't wanna log into your website. Shut up. Why is that so small? It's like the smallest image that ever existed. Give me, give me the whole image, please. So anyway, okay, so if you have mac and cheese that sits in one of these things, usually there's like a heated element underneath of it. It's like a heated element underneath of the mac and cheese. And so basically it just kind of keeps the mac and cheese nice and toasty warm. If it sits there all day like this, like, you know, I'm talking hours, it, it starts to almost like congeal and it gets like the little burnt edges on the side and I don't know what it is about the slow and, like, painful torture of the mac and cheese that makes it absolutely delicious. But the slower it cooks, like, the better it becomes. And and obviously this right here is not cooked properly. It's actually kind of undercooked, if I'm, if I'm honestly speaking from experience. And I'm kind of a mac and cheese kind of so There's lots of different kinds of mac and cheese. Some of them, if, you, if the cheese is not really, like, very well integrated into the mac and cheese it doesn't really quite have the right flavor you don't really want to taste the pasta i hate to say it you want the cheese to almost integrate itself into the pasta to the point where like the pasta and the cheese are almost completely indiscernible from each other that's that's the general gist of what you're looking for i need a seat to sit on what the hell is down there is that dragon bones down there? It looks like dragon bones down there. How do I get down there? That goes up. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Huh. That looks like a too high. It looks like death. Maybe if I jump to there... Nice. <sighs> Refuse storage. Huh. I got a dead dragon in here. And there was a wake stone. Wake stones are not refuse. Tis my duty to hear the people's concerns. Well, that was worth almost dying for. Wawa has some pretty good slow cooked macaroni and cheese. Sometimes it's not cooked enough. 
sometimes. But usually when you go there, it's been sitting there for a long time. Kind of due to the 24-hour nature of the of the establishment. And um, a lot of the times you'll find that the mac and cheese has, has had plenty of time to... Uh, to, ma to, to almost marinate in cheese. Cheese marinade. <laughs> cheese marinade, guys. Cheese marinade. I myself will be sent to the pyre ere long. Tis only a matter of time. Uh, they shall face and without regret. With this head hell high. For there is no flame that can eradicate the truth or reduce my soul to ashes. And with my dying breath I shall utter these words. Glory to Batal and her unwritten history. Death to Faleri and the unjust, self-seeking emperor and to deceiver of the people. Silver crown. I don't know if I ever checked that one door either. Up top, the door up top. Oh, there's a secret talisman right there. What brings you here? Faces this chamber. There's nothing in here. There's nothing to steal. Take all these books. Every book. What is it? I told you to return on the morrow. Okay. Let's go find somewhere to sit. You're watching from Bofa? Where's Bofa? Is that a... Uh, a place? I've never heard of it. I mean, don't take it to mean anything. Just... Oh, it's daytime. I can actually see. Didn't I open this one? Aw, oh, bullcrap. I opened that one. Did they relock it? That's terrible. That's rude. Don't relock my doors after I open them. Bats. So many bats, bats, bats. All the spiders and the bats. Look at all the spiders and the spiders and the bats. Don't call me. I don't want to know. There's too many spiders down there. Yo. I don't want to go, go. Now I've lost the thread of my thought. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this place is one big giant circular circle. Yeah. Oh, did I ever go in this room? Though the excavation at Moonglin Tower was a success, much remains a mystery. Hey, some more of that newt liquor. What the hell does newt liquor do? Newt. Liquor. The recipe for rare liquor is closely guarded secret. Imbibing it grants the drinker a temporary burst in vigor, but it's also said to have side effects. Hmm. Mac and cheese in a slow cooker for four hours? That sounds good. Why not make it eight? Why not make it ten? Why not make it twelve? The longer the better. The longer it cooks, the better it tastes. 
And you get the nice little crunchies on the side. Doo 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 crunchies. You don't want it to burn, obviously. Or get too dry. That's also another thing. You don't have to be too dry. I had one time put some mac and cheese in a crock pot for slow cook, and I left it in there for a long time. Can't remember how long I left it in there for, but it eventually started to burn on the bottom. But you know what the funny thing was? Is I took out some of the burndy bits on the bottom, and I, I started eating them, and they were delicious. They were all nice and crunchy. They weren't really like black, black burnt, but they were obviously burning. The slowest of burns. But delicious nonetheless. I need to find somewhere to sleep or something or sit for a prolonged period of time. This guy's got a lot of rugs. He must be a rug salesman. This is private land. You've no business here. Be gone. What's up, Keith? No idle chatter during missions, sir. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. My bad. The state of things make Hmm. Does this lead back toward the uh the city? I can't remember. No, that's away from the city. By the time I find a place to rest, it'll already have been a full day. I should have just went all the way back to the town. But I did have some fun, you know, searching around, seeing what I could find. This is the city over here. There's a tavern that stocks new liquor. There's my port key. I say port key. That's not what it is. But I straight up can't think of it any other way other than like Harry Potter port key. All right, let's doze off. All right, we need to go res our pawns real quick before I forget to do this later. Well met. The pawn resurrector is outside of town because this town doesn't like pawns. Go the right way or not? No, other way. It's the other way. Let me get Gina back, and we'll get uh, two more pawns. They needed to be refreshed anyway. I'm not really too mad about them dying. They were falling behind on levels pretty drastically. Yo, what are you guys just like? Okay, alright. Yeah, we gotta go to the pawn shop. <laughs> Charles is laying down them sick, those sick, crazy, ridiculous dad jokes. Piss off vessels, you're not wanted here. This tavern is a high. 
even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. You're in a tavern, sir. Only polite thing to do is order. I don't think I've ordered anything at the tavern, like, ever. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you, then? Why? Peruse at your left. Oh, dyes. You can dye your clothes? I didn't know that. Oh, they're rift co coins. Yes, oh. sir. Always a pleasure. Arr, expensive. I thought it was just regular stuff. Those are rift coins. I am ashamed to have fallen so short. I shall ponder my failings, Arisen. I mean, I guess. All right. Why you look kind of chunky? Is it just your outfit? What, what that goofy pants you got on? Um. Scud, Bennett, Monica, Mercy. I guess that's what I'm saying. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives, shall we discuss tactics now? No. Okay, we need a mage as well. What mages do we have in here? Sorry. Sorcerer. Lee, Sophia. I'm trying to see which ones have good equipment. Hey, Morgan. that sun staff I don't know what that one is I'm attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side if ever you've need of an ear to listen you have but all right let's get the hell out of here hmm. All right, we got some uh, pawns. As I recall, again. we have another matter to attend to in this domain. We might kill two birds with one stone, or focus on our current objective. Both choices have me. Have my has my thing ripened yet? It has ripened. Look at that. Asps, mind that they do not poison you. One of us has been poisoned. That was fast. What would you do without me, Arisen? Um, well, you're not over here, so... So we need to go take a left at one of these roads up here. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm curious what he's going to do with the sword. Obviously, we're not going to let him give it to Faces. He's basically our enemy in this in this plot line.
Uh, yeah. We're on the right track. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. <laughs> I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. Now, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. changed my mind. You take it. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You won't reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. Okay. Then your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Hmm. Empowered God's Bane Blade. Is it actually a piece of equipment? Can I put it on? Empowered God's Bane Blade. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is the meaning of this? What do you, what do you, wait, wait, wait. Use on self? What does that even do? What does that even do? Why do I want to stab myself with it? What happens when you stab yourself with it? Why do I want to stab myself? This with might it? be worth a read. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. Where does it want me to go? Is that is that a joke saying that I'm a god, basically? What the hell are those? Dragons? Luz? Sigurd? Cleododna? The hell are those things? Those are new. That's new. I've been here before. I haven't been to these other two, though. They're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to know what it does. I kind of want to stab myself with it. That might seem kind of weird, but I kind of want to stab myself with it. 
Empowered God's Bane Blade. Let's look it up. Burp, 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 burp. Seems like it's pretty much and primarily, as far as I can tell, used within the final battle of the game with the dragon. So I must not remember it from Dragon's Dogma. Now 1. seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Let's see. What are you saying? I'm fat. They keep saying I'm fat. I don't like how they keep saying I'm fat. What can we do without? Well, There's a tavern that stocks new liquor, but they Find only work. cater to feast. <laughs> Whatever's to be done. Oh yeah, this is the one that wanted to sell me a house. My offer still stands. Would you like to a wise decision, sir? Do be sure to read over the deed. Here you are, dear. Private dwelling. I can take my own naps. That is a crappy bed. You shan't hear me complain about it. Mighty Robrant. Krom and Zari. Tis a relief to be home. Let us... Now we've the Vim to tackle the day ahead. Off the Vim! Go. Feeling rested, I trust? No. Yes. Maybe. I need to go turn this into what's-his-face. Um... I can go inside. Put a waypoint marker on this. Or actually, let me just. Okay, it's a, actually it's right in front of my port key, so it doesn't even matter. Well, that's lucky. 
That was completely by an accident. It's been a long time since I played DD1, Justin. My services don't come. Don't come cheap. Just trying to make as much money as I can so I can upgrade later on. This Encanter's Coat is a really powerful mage item, or sorcerer item, but um, I don't I really have much of an interest to be a sorcerer. Don't know. I might need to be a sorcerer later on. What is that? I haven't seen that icon before. Um, Stargazer's Garb, DD2. Okay, that's the hoochie outfit that everybody's been putting on their characters. But that doesn't explain what I'm looking for. I'm trying to figure out what the uh, that third class is that's on the list. And the third class is the trickster. Okay, so that's the trickster's icon. Trickster is a vacation class unlocked by speaking to the spirit or specter from the lows. Uh, um, trickster is a support orientated class with the ability to conjure smoke, illusions, and distract flows, as well as the ability to boost upon attacks. Vocations are many characters, classes, players can choose from the vocations used from the risen. Dictates what weapons and skills they are useful with. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting vocation for um, I don't know. I mean, it's a ranged character. Uh, Hmm. It says ranged melee attacker, but I'm pretty sure it's actually melee. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like it's melee. Melee specific. Magic Archer. Mystic Spear Hand. Apparently there's quite a few classes in the game. There is the Archer, Fighter, Mage, and Thief, which are the basic classes. Um, then there is the Mystic Spear Hand, the Magic Archer, and the Sorcerer. Uh, trickster, Warrior, and something called the Warfarer. The Warfarer is a new vocation exclusive to the Arisen that can use every weapon and learned 
different skills from each vocation. By using diverse weapons, the warfarer can respond to any situation and create combos that cross vocational boundaries. The warfarer's low base stats require them to utilize situational strengths of different weapon types to be on par with other vocations with specialized strengths. Players can acquire this vocation by interacting with Lamond. Lamond resides in the Geyser Hamlet south of the Volcanic Island Camp. Huh. Um, and then there's apparently there's the Magic Archer, uh, which looks pretty powerful too. Got some interesting looking attacks. Even has a heal arrow. That seems pretty freaking boss. I want a heal arrow. Wow, this spear hand looks kind of crazy. And to to unlock. Seems nuts. I don't think I would do it by accident. First, you must discover Melv, which is easily done when doing the early main quest in Dragon's Wake. Complete the Seat of Sovereign to gain access to Monster Culling. Uh, the quest Monster Culling is acquired if you choose to accept the dialogue Tell Me of Monster Culling when speaking to Brant at Star Drop Inn. Speaking to Brant in the inn is only available at night. Report back to Brant to complete the Monster Culling quest. Pass time for a few days. Uh, ride an ox cart to North Vernward Ox Cart Station in Vernworth. See Dragon's Dogma 2 map. This will take you back to Melv. Upon arriving at Melv, the quest Readvent Calamity. Cheap mind. Come again when you've more coin. Of course, I don't have Readvent Calamity. Have I completed Seat of the Sovereign yet? Apparently that's a prerequisite, is completing the quest called Seat of the Sovereign. Yes, I have. So apparently I should be able to do this. I need to go to Melv. No apparently to by today, going I to see. Melv I should activate I some sort of dragon sounds. attack. Browsing was enough to scratch mm. the itch in my case. I kind of want to unlock this. Let's see if we can unlock the Mystic Spear Hand. This sounds like fun. Uh, before we go through that process, though, let me make sure I've purchased all of the passive abilities for this class so I can move on. The entire point of playing this class was to unlock the passive abilities, so if I haven't unlocked the passive abilities, then shame on me. Hoy! Look, no need to overthink it. You can check. All right, let's make sure we've got all of our augments. Change it on a whim. Uh, all of our core skills. I guess we could technically beef up some of these if we wanted to, but I don't really see much purpose in it. We're probably going to be Not moving on from the class the anyway. Doing business with all right, let's double check that before we leave. Now, if I remember correctly, Melv is this city, like, up here? Yes. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to get there. We might need to talk to Brant first, so let's go back to uh, Vernworth. And let's see if we can get it from there. Let's use one of our fairy crystals. Our, our port crystals, whatever you want to call them. 
still got three left. No strategic use. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? Uh, first order of business is the talk to what's his face, which we gotta make sure we have the monster culling thing activated. Broke it. All right, doze off here. All right, he should be here now. Grant, you have my fullest confidence. The permit is intended for a beastron. Is it all else you would speak of? Do not forget that we work to. Alright, well, we must already be finished with this because it didn't work. Alright, so there is an ox cart that'll take us to Melv. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new uh, I can't remember which one takes us, us to Melv, above. but we could just check both of them and see. Uh, where does this one take us? An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they only travel. This ox cart's bad. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Okay, so upon arriving at Melv, we should uh, get some quest called the Readvance of Calamity. And apparently, that is the start of this quest to get what we're looking for. I don't like the look of this. Why? This is. Excellent. I could have done no better. It's a bit early to be thanking me. The enemy yet remains. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Back to sleep. Look at my sword hanging out the back. That's hilarious. I don't know why I like that so much, but I like it a lot. Seems more realistic. Like, you wouldn't sit on the cart and your sword would be, like, all messed up in the thing. You probably would hang it out the back of the friggin' wagon. I mean, why not? We have reached our destination. There are worse ways to travel, I suppose. I've a selection of wares that sh My pawn does talk too much. She really does. You don't even have to tell me that. I know she does. Wow, that freaking shield is amazing looking. Lustrous tires? I mean, I think I'm going to be going to the spear base class, but... Let me buy her some arrows. To play. What the hell's up with this shield? It looks freaking amazing. 323 defense, 100 strike strength, blocking, knockdown power. It looks freaking ridiculous. A shield wrought of rare iceberg ore, dazzling to behold and favored by the most accomplished of knights. If I do switch back to the to the um pleasure doing business with you to the warrior i'd like to or, or the uh fighter i'd like to have a shield uh, have you need of me
Apparently I'm looking for an NPC called Sigurd. Which is really quite strange because I'm pretty sure that when I looked at the map earlier, there was a red scar called Sigurd right here. But I'm looking for somebody who's got a hood and apparently they have a spear. We do not see them. Have I already completed this quest too? Uh, let's see. The quest is called Re-Advent of Calamity. No, I don't have Re-Advent of Calamity done. Eh. Apparently there's some sort of, like, secondary requirement for this quest, which means that I would take a look inside. probably never get this on my own. It says that I have to visit this city twice before I have access to this quest. So I'm going to have to leave and then come back and then leave and then come back. Probably. Where are you going? So let's just take the ox cart back and then we'll just take the ox cart back again. Hopefully that will give us the number of times visited required. I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. No. This ox cart, I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Okay. Doze off. Alright, well we made it. Look, we made it all the way back. Yay. This is a conundrum. Impressive. Now we wait again. This ox cart's back. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Okay. Hopefully this will fulfill the second time visit back or whatever bullcrap. And there should be a dragon attacking the village. That's what it says. That's enough. Why? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. Take the power of ice and turn it against our foes. Is that it? Okay, let's get going. We're still in a fight. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. The early griffin gets the worm. Wow. Looking for this spear user, I don't see him. Mm. 
This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you were risen. Uh, I can't get this doojank to work. I don't know. Maybe I'm not at the right part of the quest. Maybe Sigurd's not here anymore. Maybe I'm having trouble getting the quest to activate. I mean, I've been here several times. I did several quests here. Still don't see him. No dragon attack, neither. Let me look up Sigurd himself and see if I can figure out anything about him. It says here that after he's found in this village, um, he eventually goes to the village of Harv, which is the one way down here. Apparently he's in Harv village. Uh, apparently in a hut or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but we can always go take a look. Uh, and I'm impatient, so we're going to use another one of our fairy stones. I've already been traveling all over the damn place. Alright, so where is Sigurd? You're not Sigurd, are you? Of course. No. Now, tis come as if to say... But does that not strike you, even if we are to believe that I should like to confirm for myself, an old man with naught, when I said as much to the bride, a lie, it may all seem, yet is the honest truth. Hey, there was a fairy stone underneath his bed. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, let's see if we can find Sigurd. It should be pretty obvious when we see him. He's hooded and he apparently has a spear. Very few people that you uh, encounter have spears, so he's hooded with a spear. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. There's a hood. I don't see a spear. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. No. Knowing. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Alright, let me look one more time. It says that Sigurd is... an NPC that resides in Har Village. Uh, Mystic Spear Hand Meister. He hunts dragons for his own personal reasons. Um, it's a picture of him. Okay, blue hood, like red clothing. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, look around. This is apparently where he lives. He lives here somewhere. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Sorry, gold. Apparently he also hunts dragons. He's a dragon hunter.
Charles is also a pawn. Ooh, burn. I didn't know you were a pawn, Charles. Can I desummon you? <laughs> Super burn. There he is. There was a time I myself bore that title. Hey, Mystic Spearhand vocation. All right. Now, we need to go to a vocationist. Change our vocation. Um, etc. 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 Okay. Um, it's actually a pretty short walk from here to here, believe it or not. It's actually not too bad. Uh, or I could just board key. I actually did find a fairy stone, so you know what? Let's just fairy stone our way back over here to uh, whatever the place is. We'll buy ourselves a spear, get ourselves switched over to the mystic spear hand, and we'll have some fun with it. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? All right. Well, we need to go down into the village. So not that way. That's the wrong way. I'm not sure what kind of equipment this guy needs, but we're going to have to figure it out. First things first, let's get everything swapped over. Pick the passives that we want, etc. Um, see what equipment is compatible with this mystic spear hand. If any of the equipment is compatible at all. Um, and then go from there. I'm not sure what equipment is compatible with the Mystic Spear Hand. I like spear based glasses, always have. The reach on spear based glasses is amazing. Hoy, looking to change. No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might even make a new discovery. All right, so change vocation. I kind of give my secret circles real quick. All right, we're at 23. Change vocation. Mystic Spear Hand. But it's been some battle. The Mystic Spear Hands wield both magic and duo spear, enabling them to fight at range and in close quarters with equal eats. Their ability to halt enemies' movement with a charged burst of magic makes a swift offense their best defense. For they have few means of evading attacks at their disposal, and only the Arisen can acquire this vocation. Redoubted Bolt. Holding down the right click to charge up your magic before unleashing a redoubted bolt will halt the enemy in their tracks, giving you an opportunity to bombard them with attacks till they recover. The longer the charge time, the longer the enemy will be restrained. Hmm. Magic can be charged up while moving and attacking, but stamina only recovers while stationary. Um, Follow-up attacks. When you land an attack using V, it will change into a powerful successive strike if the target is no downed or knocked off balance or... The target is not expecting the attack. A powerful successive strikes should be carefully aimed as they leave you vulnerable. Hmm. Okay. We can still use that piece of equipment. Apparently that also works with the Mystic Spear Hand as well. This does not. Okay. 
so we need new body armor. And we need new pants. Alright. I'm not wearing this, like, junk. I don't know why I still have this mask on. I don't think it does anything for me whatsoever, except for make me look weird. Some kerchiefs. Many thanks. A mystic spear hand. What a marvelous vocation. We must strive to be worthy of our place beside such glory. I'm naked. All right, what kind of equipment does this guy actually use? I need to see. Is it like light armor, medium armor? Me? I said. Now this hard heavy saying, but don't you. Like what kind of what kind of equipment is he capable of using? Let's see. First off, armor wise, noble jacket. Oof. So he can't use any of the high, the heavy high quality armor. Creed bound armor. Three o two. Creedbound armor at 302. It's definitely better than the noble jacket. So Creedbound armor it is. Dare try to take an Alright. Dapper chosses. Probably want the one with higher physical defense. So, Wraith Greaves. Anything without paying for it first. Many thanks. I'm probably not coming back to Warrior, to be perfectly honest. So, I'm getting rid of this sword. I don't really want it. I'll give me 17k back. Final War um, is specifically for him, for the for the warrior that I don't want to play, so I'm probably going to sell that too. Uh, the Brutal Chosses. Now that one, those are actually pretty good for the, the fighter to hang on to those. I don't like the way the Saurian scale cape looks. It's got good stats, but I don't like the way it looks. Alright. And I'll see it. Soul of Antiquity. 577 strength. Wow, look at that magic damage on that thing, too. It's 482 magic, 577 melee. That's definitely the probably the best one they've got there. The only difference between the two, the wings... Oh, that one kind of looks like a, like a halberd, double-sided halberd. It's kind of neat looking. Tail trimmer. Knockdown power is really nice. Oh, 
out, so it is. Done. We can finally upgrade her dragon's blink to the max value. We can take the crystals to what's his face and we can go get that thing fully fully kitted out. It's pretty sweet. Alright. Let's do the first upgrade on everything real quick and then we'll cover the rest. Alright, I can do one more. Um, I need another blackened horn. I can do the next upgrade on that. Need more Rattler Rocks Tales and a Cursed Dullhand Bone. Alright. I, can I not sell that Initiate's Blade? Let me sell that. You're welcome. All right. I mean, I like kind of cool. This isn't much to go on. What's up, man? I'm still playing Dragon's Dogma. Did I go the wrong way? Okay, I need, I need to go back and take a take a right. Hang a right. I'm gonna go put some of this stuff up in the stash. This is my house. I got a house here. I got a house, not a mouse. Alright, let's deposit some items. First off, this. The pants, just in case we want to come back to those. The shield, just in case we want to come back to him, to the to the warrior. Uh, goblin horn. I don't know nothing about this way this character works. This is the first time I've played this guy, and I don't know. It's going to be interesting to find out. Okay, what do we got? Um, okay. Let's check to see what we've got in here right now. Bunch of rings. I don't know if I need to take the Worm's Life Crystals out to go upgrade her bow, but she's fully upgraded on that bow, so I'd like to get that thing maxed out. I might find a better bow for her eventually, but... Is this an online game? Good sleep does wonders. <laughs> the answer to that question is, so is very convoluted. Similar to the way that Elden Ring, have you ever you ever play Elden Ring Atlantis, or like Dark Souls, and like kind of like how Elden Ring and Dark Souls are technically offline, but then at the same time you also have some odd interactions with like the online community, um, like in the form of messages and things like that. Well, this one's also interestingly online in a very odd way, but not. You don't like see other players, but you do interact with other players in other ways, uh, basically involving their pawns. So everybody has their own pawn, like this is my pawn right here named Gina. And then what happens is, is as you are um, learning, or as, you, as other people are hiring pawns, they can hire your pawn. Um, and then like there's like an interaction there between you and the other people who have pawns. It's, it's interesting. Um, I've hired, you know, I hired a bunch of people's pawns while I've been playing. So there is kind of like an online aspect to the game, even though it's not online. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, 
Once you play it, you'll kind of get a better idea. I want to go talk to the guy who can upgrade my bow. Um, we need to go north. Okay, so I need to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna put a thing on his. His uh, area, so it's. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's not an online. If that's what you're getting at, or offline. I'm pretty sure you play offline. There's online stuff. Actually, you know what? I don't know. To be honest with you, you know what? I'm not even gonna pretend that I know. I don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend. I don't. I haven't actually tried to play it offline yet, so I really don't know. I mean, I would assume that it works online, offline, but it does actually go into the process of accessing other people's pawns and things like that. Maybe there's like a little database office. file that it downloads I'll or something, and, quiet over a horde of and then day. once it downloads that file, it'll just have like a whole bunch of generic NPCs, I don't know. Or it'll just have like an older, out-of-date list of the NPCs. Um, other people rent out your pawn as well, which is also a part of it. And um, and then when you, when you go to sleep, you actually collect rift coins and things like that, and and whatever that they gave you for the using your pawn, they can actually donate you items and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I mean, honestly, the game is very fun. Freshly rested as we are. Having this tons of fun with it so far. Favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that bim goes away. We'll never get anywhere before we rest. Let us return when we've grown tired. I brought your weapon a magical boon. Okay, interesting, interesting. A little bit more tactical than the other classes I've played. I did my best to match your skill, Master. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Now, where the hell are we going? Hmm. I don't know if that's the right way. It's that cave over there. That's where it is. It's that cave. Muta? Who's Muta? Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. Now there's a thought. Honestly, the game is amazing. I've been having tons of fun with it. This is my third stream so far, and uh, honestly, how fast is it? I will be with you in but a moment. Is there a dragon? There's a dragon or something. What the hell's going on? Where's my boy? Where you at? You're out here being dragoned? I don't see a dragon. Sounded like there was a dragon. Oh, there's a griffin. Well, that explains it. We found a chest. Let us examine what it has to offer. Ice's sting is yours to wield.
Miracle will prove us victory here. We ought to withdraw and rethink our approach. I'm trying to figure out how to use this magic bolt thing. Keep an opening. Focus your attacks. Moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Of course. seem to be um, slightly uh, unconscious and it's not really helping me very much as I slowly slide and careen off the hill like a slippy slide freaking doojank over here I mean, I've heard a lot of bad things about this game, and none of them have had anything to do with the game. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly how to explain it other than that. Like, everything that I've heard bad about the game has been something that's not part of the game. It's like, oh, I don't like the microtransactions, but then, like, the microtransactions barely even exist within the game. And they're literally not even necessary to play the game in any way, shape, or form. I haven't even taken a look at them, and I'm already having tons of fun. Level 35. And then, like, I've heard some people say there was some laggy stuff, like, when they're inside of towns. But, like, at the same time, when you're inside of town, what does it matter what your frame rate is? I mean, granted, I'd like my frame rate to be high in town, but when I'm in town, it doesn't really matter. When I'm out of town, it does matter, right? When I'm fighting a boss or something like that. And when you're fighting a boss, the frame rate is much higher, and it's just fine. It's only really messed up when you're in town because the number of NPCs screw it up. Like, I can't, I've heard a lot of weird complaints, and none of them have really been all that... I'm like, okay, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really sure what you're complaining about. Oh my god, I'm so, like, apprehensive of fighting next to this cliff. I think Gina already got knocked into the water, by the way. My, my pawn. Yeah, these little harpies are pissing me off so bad. And every time I try to kill the stupid harpies, the freaking griffin gets in the way, like he's protecting them or something. Next harpy. at me, bro. I like the ability to knock out the targets with the redoubted bolt. That's actually pretty powerful. I don't know if it's really worth what I'm losing, but being able to hold down the right click, charge up the redoubted bolt, and then fire the redoubted bolt at the enemy to basically paralyze them is amazing. Like that. Okay. Hey, we got a vocation rank up a too. Flawless execution. Let us aim for greater precision with our next attempt. Okay. I just came here for one purpose, which was to talk to my boy, the master, and like totally didn't get what I wanted. So, okay. Is he down there now? Like, come on, buddy. Like, where are you at? Let's, let's go back down here. Um, frickin' one of the birds carried my my frickin' pawn off the mountain and dropped her in the water, so she's dead. I'm gonna have to go get her back. 
I think I can just summon her back here. Yeah, what happened? I'm once more in your care, Arisen. I'm glad to have you back by our side. All right, where am my boy at? He's supposed to be in here. Okay. Since times of old, drag remember. Okay. Draconic blood. All right, I can upgrade this for five. That way, I have a perfected Gnostic wings. Nice. Um, and then I can do the dragon's blink for fifteen. Wow, that's gonna bring her way up. Five seventy-four to six twenty-nine flows through the veins of lesser drink. Then I bid ye farewell. All right. Um, let's fight some more monsters on the way back, and then... Um, we run everywhere. Yes, we You're do. An impatient one, Arisen. Yes, I am. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. So we need to get some more vocation ranks so that we can actually start purchasing some of the passives and stuff like that, and the skills. <laughs> This uh, this redoubted bolt thing is actually pretty neat. You basically just hold down the button and charge it. You get like a, a lightning bolt on your hand. And then you can just hold that as you're running along. Like, it's not really that big of a deal. As you can see, it's still there. It's still charged up. So I just hold that as I'm running. And then anytime I run into a, a monster, like, I just hit him with the bolt. And let him freaking let him have it. Like this guy. And I missed him because I suck at aiming, but. Honestly, I haven't even seen any of the skills yet, and it seems like an extremely powerful character. I must admit that it feels wonderful. The ability to lock down targets like this is great. I love it already. What's my verdict on the game? I love it. It's just as good as Dragon's Dogma 1, if not better. The graphics are better. A little laggy in some places, like the towns. But overall, great game. I haven't really had much trouble with it so far at all. Been having a blast fighting the freaking monsters. And like, some of the bigger That's boss fights, it's hilarious. Like the boss fights, you know, normally you get into a fight with like a dragon or something and you're just focused entirely on the dragon. Like, sometimes I'll be fighting these big bosses and other big bosses will show up, and I'm fighting, like, two or three big bosses at the same time. So far, I think the most I've had at once is three bosses at once, which was a griffin, uh, a, a minotaur, and I think a troll, like, at the same time. I've also fought two ogres at the same time, a dragon and an ogre at the same time. Um, Freaking, the boss fights are fun. They're very fun. Some of them are quite challenging. I've died quite a few times in some of them. Um... The vocations are really interesting. So far, I've tried out the fighter, the warrior, and now I'm, I'm currently trying out this. Uh, this is the, what is it called? The, the magic spear or magic spear or something like that or spearman. It's uh, it's kind of interesting. It's a different kind of a class entirely. It's kind of like a half caster slash half melee character. You got like this right click that you can just like summon a bolt to paralyze targets and then once you paralyze the target you can obviously use that to your advantage and start wailing on them. What's up Cash App? Oh, a freaking heartburn. Alright, let's take a quick nap. Since we're here, we got a free bed. Let's just use you it. Can't hear me complain about an early repose. 
I want to find out what Good one of these everyone. fractures is. There again. seems to be fractures Getting that are... I don't, I, I don't really know what else to call them. They're like red cracks on the map. And they have names, specific names, and I don't know why. Um, let's go to the vocationist. Let's spend some of our points on whatever we can to make sure we're characters set up properly. And because um, we got one, we got one vocation rank. Uh, let's also see if we can upgrade anything. We might have gotten the materials that we need to upgrade. Now this hardly bears saying. We did. We got the uh, materials to upgrade the uh, the wraith greaves. Nice. And we still need one blackened horn. And griffin pinions. We need to kill a couple of griffins, looks like, for the majestic but don't armor. You dare. Many thanks. Right. Nope, not you. Yeah, everybody's got all these cool hairstyles, but you know, in in, a, in the real old world, everybody would just be all shaggy. <laughs> Well, you're freaking no barbers. Boy, no need to overthink it. You. All right, the second blade conjures magical blades that fly at the target of their own accord. Through though not especially powerful, it can act be activated while moving or using another attack. Levitates nearby objects and hurls them. At the closest hostile target, can also lift and hurl smaller hostile targets that are flinching. Hmm. Hold on, let me see if I can. Uh, I gotta get my like core skills and stuff. Disperses foreboding bolt after it has been unleashed, um, and snaring hostile targets in the vicinity and preventing them from moving. Targets struck directly are restrained for longer. Nice. Uh, quick thought, allowing the the user to instantly approach a target that was struck by foreboding bolt or scattering bolt, pressing the space bar for the instant foreboding forbidding bolt or scattering bolt connects with a foe. Oh wow! So I could just like teleport directly to a target. That's freaking awesome. All right, uh, lethality increases damage dealt when striking targets with vitals. Um, avidity enables you to clamor cliffs and skills foes more quickly. Oh, yeah. That's nice, too. Alright, so we need to look and see what's uh, what we can equip. It looks like we still have some left over from our other class, but we don't have enough to fill it out, I guess. So we still have well, increased damage to targets that are not in battle stance, increases your maximum stamina, Causes your lantern not to consume consume less oil. Well, that's a stupid one. Uh, lethality, damage to targets, vitals, and avidity. Hmm. Wait, I'm on the wrong target, aren't I? I am on the wrong character. I accidentally moved to Gina. That's what I did. I was wondering why it looked like I had the wrong skills. Um, there we go. Yeah, I've got none equipped. Okay. All right, hastens movement speed while carrying or lifting. Uh, okay, let's see what we've got to equip. Uh, augments your physical defense. That comes from the warrior. Um, actually, we're probably going to need that because this seems like a little bit of a squishier character. Uh, we don't want provocation. I don't really care about that one. Increases carry weight. Hell yeah. Maximum health. Hell yeah. Um, vitality, maximum health, we got that one. Improves the ability to push and pull targets when grabbing hold. Um, improves your ability to break through an opponent's guard. Yes, please. Hastens movement when carrying or lifting. Uh, I don't really know what that means. Like, when I'm carrying something, or... I don't really know why that one seems really all that great. Uh, I grab this one. I don't really need provocation. Like, I don't, I don't want to be the tank. So, we're not gonna, we're not gonna set up for tank, tankliness. Then change it on a whim, you. All right. So we're only rank two right now. We still gotta rank up quite a bit to get max skills on that. 
Um, she's already like maxed out on just about everything she can get from this class. Not to lose, and you pleasure doing business with you. All right, so I did want to get her a class too. Uh, so her class, her new class is something called the Magic Archer. I actually want to get her the Magic Archer. So according to this, um, the Magic Archer quest is unlocked upon equating, completing the side quest, put a spring in thy step. Um, apparently this one is in the Agamen Volcanic Island, which I believe we actually have a quest to go to. Um, if I'm looking at the map, let's take a look at the map. Uh, I didn't mean to pull out my weapon, dear Lord Jesus. Yeah, they get so antsy if I pull my weapon out. Um, so it looks like this is the volcanic island here. Um, through here, according to the map. So if I want to get this magic darcher thing, I'm going to have to go out here. So let's go ahead and set this waypoint. And uh, that's where we'll go. So we can start working to get her, um, her new, her new class. What's up, Jesse? They are the dragon ford. Luz is the ghost you talked to earlier. Meanwhile, Flamebearer Palace, spell suit of lore. I'm supposed to do some sort of quest in here. Um, something with the princess or something. What's up, Silveraku? Let me go talk to the princess. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Hmm. And who's Sir Arisen? Sir Armhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen. Come to aid us in apprehend. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Her Majesty cannot be allowed to come to harm. Indeed. We are well glad of your aid. May it prove unnecessary. Ere Her Majesty's supplications begin, I shall give you a description of our target. Pray seize the room. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your... Okay. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. as good a place as any we ask that all be spared the horrors of the fell dragon we ask that Batal may e'er prosper and we ask that a day may come when Beastrum, human horn and every other noble race that walks our world may live in harmony with one another You know, attack her or what? Sir Arisen, Her Majesty's supplications are nearing their end. Have you located the rogue? No. Would the thief see past fur and fangs? What am I supposed to do? Talk to all them? Something. 
have you seen the event bears some grand title? Her Majesty's Grace is a you best make yourself seize the rogue the moment you any interesting tidings to share? Hear this last may thine we swear fealty unto thee. What say you? I've the current emperor, Her Majesty is wise too. Her Majesty's supplication. Could it be that the rogue has not come? I don't see any rogue. What do you want with me, eh? Um, day in, day. Got all you want me? What do you want? Look, cuz, I'm in a bit of a rush. Need something die? Oh, lambent flame. We beseech. Fishing's not for the faint of heart. The Empress's supplications have concluded without incident. I shall return to Her Majesty's son. No! Your Majesty! How could this have happened? We must staunch the bleeding and capture the thief. Forgive me, Your Majesty. The Empress is such a dreadful thing. To think, even with the Arisen at her side, we could not safeguard Her Majesty. The events of this day threaten to sour, relate nay. Now is not the time to falter, but to you, however, someone must answer for this and as the plan to entrap her majesty's assailant was of your design sir manella i would have it be you oh empress would that you were still with the empress is gone you have failed to apprehend the assassin i didn't see any assassin whatsoever i hate to say it but there was nobody there and I really don't know. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Just pick up somebody at random? I should have followed the princess around instead. I bet you the assassin was near the princess. At some point, I could have at least snatched him up or something. I don't know. Maybe. I should very much like to rejoin you, Master. Do I still have that ripened dojank that I can give the guy, or has it rotted? Nope, it's rotted. Never mind. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go to this next area. I'm gonna level up my vocation, get my points put in, get my skills. Right now, I've got a whole lot of nothing. Unfortunately. I mean, I do got passive, passives at least, you know, for actually being... Having two other classes, so I get to pull from the two other classes of passives, which is nice. This is the spell door that they just went through. Can I go through this door? I cannot guide us to this task of completion, as we lack the requirement. Okay, I can go through here. It's a fancy door. No, it's not a time for a super ridiculous boss fight when I have a character that's barely even to think functional. think it's left beneath the sea all this time. Whatever its intent, I suppose we can ill afford to leave it be. I only pray it steers clear of settlements and causes no destruction. You know... I 
should be glad to assist you, Arisen. That's right. What in the ham biscuit? Oh yeah, let's charge up my pimp hand. Gotta charge up my pimp hand, you know. Don't y'all be worried about nothing. Alright, I got a pimp hand and I'm charging it up. That's all y'all need to know. That's all y'all need to know. Charge up my pimp hand. Don't worry about it. Behave and you won't have to worry about my pimp hand. Now will you? Now, now we is you? Now, so you don't gotta worry about it if you if you behave. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna need the pimp hand. Look at all them valid freaking harpies. We're gonna need the pimpan. Charging the pimpan. Releasing the pimpan. And three, two, one, go. Oh, I missed it. Is there any kind of lock on system? So I can. There we go. Pimpan. Goodbye. Charging the pimpan. Releasing the pimp hand. Sting is yours to Master, Charging the pimp out. hand. Let's see if I can pimp hand slap some of these guys out of the air. Hmm. They're controlling it for sure. Looks like we can go across there. My word. What is that? Pimp hand. Pimp hand. Charging up the pimp hand. Oh, I can't recover stamina while I'm charging my pimp hand. A serious wing. What was that? Band sequence activated. Achieved ultimate pimp hand. I'm not even joking. Like, I have, like, the regular pimp hand. Like, this is, like, my regular pimp hand. Alright. And then it goes into, like, extra pimp hand. And then if you hold it for long enough, it eventually goes into ultra pimp hand. You guys ready? Three. Ultra pimp hand. There you go. That's my ultra pimp hand. At once, master. Ultra pimp hand firing engage. Let us do whatever we can to slow it down. It might be futile, but it is better than watching on in despair. Understood. Who's this guy running at him solo? Look out, Arisen! We're under attack! 
Is that literally a place to stand? No. Okay, so that didn't work. Alright, let's try this. Alright, and then B. 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 Engage in do jankery. I don't know if anybody in the world has enough stamina to achieve this. I guess I can get up. Ah! Standing here, right? Oh, I got <laughs> Gina caught me. That's hilarious. He stepped on a potato. Pimpan activate. Pimpan firing. I got time for this. Try this again. I don't even know how to get some of those upper ones. That's just, I ain't got the stamina for those. I need to somehow get over there where those platform looking things are. They look like they're actually platforms, like they're meant to be stood on. Like I could probably recover my stamina here, I guess. I will finish this here and now. No. Okay. I mean, I got some of the lower ones. Its current course will take it to the ruins and encampment. Does it mean to tromp straight through them? Suffice to say, not even the Arisen can command it to halt its march. Oh my god, this thing is so slow. 
And it doesn't even go that far. Okay, hold on. There's got to be some further ones ahead. That's probably how we're supposed to do this. This thing doesn't aim high enough. Let my magic strike with an elemental boom. It doesn't aim high enough to hit any of the, the frickin' things. That's unfortunate. Waiting, 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 waiting. Let's go. I wonder if I got any food that restores stamina. Let's check. See if I got any stamina restoration foods to recover a small amount of stamina. Okay. I should have saved all my potatoes for those. I'm starting to lose my stamina really fast. One of these is like, yeah, there we go. Immense amount of stamina. Stamina in the pots. Anything that restores stamina. down. more stamina recovery. Oh, no, I got this one? Okay. Starting to slowly run out of stamina. And things that restore stamina. Okay, exquisite. It says it restores an astonishing amount of stamina. Should have saved 10 million potatoes for this.
soon as I run out of stamina, I fall. So, I don't really have much choice. I think I've reached the limit of the number of items I'm allowed to take. Won't let me take it. Mm. Oh, thank you for the hero catch, Gina. There's one on the hand, too. Holy Jesus. I need, like, better ways to get the hell up there. I need 8,000 potatoes. I need all potato. Good, get him. can stand up here. I didn't think you could. I thought he would have shook me off. His arm is missing. What the hell? Is there anything left to attack? Stop walking forward. Okay. Maybe we gotta hit him in the eye now. Let's try that. Your 
Holy Jesus. He might have a butt plug, Charles. Don't even don't even joke. He probably does. I don't see any remainder remaining plugs on him actually. Like, you know, no jokes aside. see anything his arm is there was the last one was on his arm and his arm is gone so I need to go back and find his arm and stab the thing out of his arm that is not on his body I need some more potatoes I do need more potatoes. Oh yeah, vocation rank up, you think? Is he dead? Point in my leading the way if we haven't got what we require to hand. His eyeball still glowing? Sort of. It appears we found the ballista. This could grant us an edge in battle if we use it well. In a game where you climb monsters that are hundreds of feet tall, they decided that falling damage was the most important thing I'm to focus on. For this. <laughs> With basically no way to prevent your own death either. <sighs> so where was he going? Into the lava? Like, I don't get it. I mean, and like, what was his what was his end game I'm glad there? Glad to see you in such fine fettle arisen. You're even more impressive than when I last. Well, apparently, I'm inside of a volcano. Yeah, I know. She's caught me a couple times, but it's random. And Gina doesn't pay attention to me half the time, so... Ours is a party of women, by and large. And yet, no two of us are the same. My feet are burning. My feet are on fire. It's very hot here. It's very spicy. Oh, there's a dragon here. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. I didn't know that you were here, Mr. Dragon. Well. Pitiable arisen.
Yeah, this is death. That's what this is. This is death. I'm burning to death, slowly and surely. Me again with that stupid thing. Okay. Ow. Pitiable Loriza. Him with the old razzle dazzle. Corboding bolt. Corboding bolt. Corboding bolt. Hitting you with it. Come on down. I'm, I'm charging up my pimp hand. I'm gonna charge up my pimp hand. It's gonna be real hot. dying from just the lava under my feet and I can't stop myself.
Come on, I need Mercy back up so she can heal us. Oh, oh, what a bullcrap tail attack. They barely even touched me. It was like a tickle. It was like a, it was a tail tickle. That was just a tail tickle. That's all that was. A little tail tickle. Tickle tail. Pimpain charge! Pimpain charge! Ow, it hurts. Pimpain charge! Couple seconds before I die. Lear about to die. Wake up, you stupid turd. You're standing in lava. Wake up. Holy Jesus. Fighting in lava has made this entire thing so much more difficult than it needed to be. Oh, this might be over. I think this is over. I ain't got no way back. There's there's too many uh, alternative monsters in here. A uh, lava slime showed up. I don't know where the hell he came from. Dragon's only got one and a half HP bars left. I'm tempted to just let my, my mage, mages work and stuff a little bit here. Gotta stay away from those explosions. Oh, did he get me? He freaking got me. I think he got me. I don't have any more. I got no more heals. Does anybody else have a heal? Anything. A potato. No potatoes? Because if we don't got potatoes, this is over. No potatoes. No nothing. Everything's done. We don't have enough wake stones.
we got nothing to serve up. I'm literally dying right now from the fire. And I have no way to I have no way to restore life. I was so close to beating that thing. I can't believe the freaking fire slime and another freaking thing showed up right in the middle of that. Made it even worse. We literally just finished fighting that boss. Like, right when we found this dragon. It was not advantageous for us at all. We still almost freaking pulled it off. If it wasn't for the random fire slime showing up, we probably would have done it. I shall heal you at once. Wait Gina, moment. why are you in the fire over there? Drake! Careful now. God, do I really want to go through this whole fight again and fail? Again. This is like the worst place to fight a dragon. I grant your weapon a magical boon. Forgive me, Bruce. I shall see to it. It's First off, let's deal with this guy. Oh my dear lord Jesus, that tail. Fire slime. Okay, fire slime is down. I'm almost dead though, and everybody else is dead. Snake is still alive. The, uh, the the lava, the lava snake is still alive. And I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place over here. Oh Standing on the lava. I'm tired of you, dragon. I'm sick of you.
Ouchies. Oh, he picked me up. Well, I'm probably dead. Oh, 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 slammed right in the dirt. Why am I in his crotch? It's not the direction I wanted to go at all. I don't like how he's got me over the lava. Oh, did he fall into the lava? Dang it. That means we lost all the loot, didn't we? Stupid dragon in your stupid face and your stupid ugly is a ranged weapon. dragon face. Ha -ha. I can think of all manner of uses for there, master. Saurian! Seems our foe is resistant to fire. God, I am literally dying from fire right now. Are y'all gonna help me with this thing? Or are you gonna just like stand there and watch it kill me? I swear they're just standing there watching it kill me. The, the two that are actually fighters were literally just standing there doing nothing. And the mage was just casting heals over and over again on top of the slime where I couldn't get access to them. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was terrible. And the dragon is alive again. I do not like this Sam I am. I do not like this green eggs and ham. I do not like this on a plane. I do not like this with a dragon. I do not like this at all. There, master. The dragon. Ice attacks will soon see the snow belt. Well done. I literally can't even move. I walked over here and I immediately died. And Cody is bugging the ever-loving crap out of me because I'm sure he's got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to take him out to go Peppa do this real quick. It's kind of hard to play when you have a dog that weighs 120 pounds with his big giant head directly on your mouse hand. <laughs> It is. I'll be right back.
Okay. Cody did the pepper do. Cody did the pepper do this. You do the pepper do this, Cody. He said, maybe. He said, maybe I just chased the possum for five minutes. He said, how about that? <laughs> it's really rough fighting this dragon here in the fire. I wish I could pull him somewhere else. The fire burns your feet constantly and you take constant burning damage while you're here. There's lava all over the place. And it's very difficult to fight him here. trying to stand in the fire because there's no other place to stand because I need to resurrect Gina who's dead every single time I resurrect and literally the dragon is trying to kill me while I'm trying to resurrect Gina the freaking little evil little lizard is there also trying to kill me while I'm trying to dance around the dragon it's it's it, you can't even see the freaking lizard I don't even know what the hell's going on with that lizard that little tiny lizard but when it, when he's like underneath of the dragon you can't see him He looks like lava. <sighs> and I almost freaking had him. I almost freaking had him. The first time I fought him, but no, random, literally almost unkillable fire slime had to slow up and just completely ruin everything. I'm not, I'm not fighting this dragon, especially if I'm not getting loot. I think that's the biggest thing right now. I don't even care. I like fighting him for the loot. I like fighting him. But I don't like fighting this one here. And the chances of me getting loot from this guy are basically next to zero. Because the dragon falls into the lava and then all the loot disappears with the dragon. So I say we just run down the hill here and we just leave. Follow me down the hill. I don't want to fight you over there. Yeah, I don't care. You guys can all die. I'm leaving this cursed place. Battle is best avoided here. I grind your weapon and magically boom. generally used as a material. Alright, now how the hell do I get the hell out of here? Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a little town right here, or excavation site. Um, looks like it's this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. 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 What the hell is that? A vampire? I got no clue what's going on right now. I'm in an area I think I don't belong. God bless it. I can't even make it to the gate. Boy, I can't even make it to the gate. Oh, my dear Lord Jesus. I can't believe they're inside the build. They're inside the base, and the the freaking like NPCs are just like pretending like they don't exist. It would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Vermon. W will it really be all right? I I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. The dragon shall be under my control when it appears. Come. Let us press onward. Lord, Lord Jesus. Am I safe? Am I here? Am I alive? I ain't got no pawns left. All my pawns are dead. Freaking dragon in the lava killed most of it. Well met, sir. How's the day treating? Fairy stones, camping kits, books, extracts, ring of motility. Prevents petrification from accumulating. Oh, that's interesting. Do you come again? Well met. A laurel circlet. Elegant petticoat. Oh wow, don't I look pretty? <laughs> oh, alrighty then. Oh uh, yeah. Looking fancy, aren't I? Alrighty, nice equipment there, buddy. Is there a rift stone in here so I can get my freaking crew back? Alrighty then. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Are you fit to travel? Yes. 
I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. Wait a minute, this one's level 38. Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Powerful magics is a sorcerer's privilege. Should you wish, I would. Gladly. Fair travels, Arisen. I shall remember you always. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have. All right. Got a crew. Let's get the hell out of here. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. It is said there is an illness Fors can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all. I beg pardon if my house, but if you seek a bed, then the coin is yours. No questions asked. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Yep. That's how it works. You'll not believe the journey. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go there. Beg pardon if my hospitality, but if you seek a bed and you've the coin, it's yours. No questions asked. Oh, vocation guild here, huh? Oh, good. Mirror Vesture. Uh, what the hell is Mirror Vesture? Erects a magic barrier around the user and allies within range. Each barrier only lasts for a very short span of time, but nullifies all manner of attacks at further duration. Oh, hell yeah. That's not the one that I signed. Uh, Thief's Hond. Saps the target's vitality and grants it to the user in the form of stamina. Cannot be employed against targets that lack a corporeal form. Press the assign button to tap repeatedly to continue draining. So I can suck stamina out of targets? That sounds pretty freaking nice. Levitates nearby objects and hurls them at the enemy. Conjures magical blades that fly to the target of their own accord. Mm. Dragon Dragoon's Stab. Kicks off a magical platform to gain momentum before delivering a forceful jab, also employable against flying targets. Nice. Friend Bolt. Extends the effective range of Redoubt's Bolt. Nice. No new ones to choose from. We're only rank three so far. These secret tokens are a lot harder to uh, find than I originally thought they'd be. Alright, where the hell are we going? Quests. No. Um, was it this one that I'm on? The Guardian Gigantis? Yes, it is. Okay. What's up, Robert?
Boom. <laughs> well, we leave town with full HP. I wish there was a way to restore that HP that goes missing from the max. Doesn't seem like there is, to be honest. You can restore your HP, but not the max. Why are you naked? You here to aid me? What are you, a bum? A bum. You think I care to hear your troubles? Leave off. Okay. What is it? If something happens, you ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodge. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting. Yeah, I did. I rested. Stay with me, Arisen. Wait a moment. Just relaxing on, shooting on, chilling on, killing some Diablo and Mephisto 2 and a couple of Andariels on the way down. Gonna kill all the monsters and demons you see and poke the undead and laugh at thee. Time to be As material came down and he told me, he said, he said, you're gonna go <laughs> live with your uncle in heaven now. I got in one little fight with a demon and a seed. I'll be running up them stairs. All right. Why are we just gonna watch it? Okay. That was friendly. I guess we're going the long way. A contraption of some kind. I know not what to make of it. Everybody get on. How shall we proceed at Risen? Your fate is ours to share. Whether ill or boon awaits, the experience shall be no less valuable. Hey, call this thing back down. What if I was at the bottom and I needed to crawl it down? Seem to be kind of high up. <sighs> what the hell are they doing up here? Okay, just shoot me with a friggin' explosive arrow. Rude. Okay, that's... Yeah, alright. I'm just trying to gain some ground here. Pimp hand. Secondary pimp hand, activate. 
form of Pimpin. Oh, oh, they don't like my pimp hand. They're really aggressive. I didn't activate no cutscene. Now, simply watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. Ritual is complete. The dragon comes. <laughs> Behold, the Royce Dragon. By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. Why is he all covered in blustules? We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all. I thought that dragon looked kind of small. to reclaim thy throne. I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my claws, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Hmm. Go, and thou shalt live to claim thy coveted throne. Face the dragon. Fight and thy life is forfeit. I don't care about your words. Hmm. Intriguing. This then is thy will. I don't know who the hell that is. Our party is done. Grant? Was that Grant? We must fulfill our charges. I as the dragon. And thou as the arisen. Time upon me. We shall depart for our true battlefield. Our true battlefield? Okay. Sounds like fun. Such a fate. Would make 
I'm gonna stab him with the god slingy. Time has come for you to return. Go. My children shall see you there safely. Let us go home. Together. To a world under your rightful rule. I think got red eyes. Red eyes means world evil. All your own. Where the hell am I? You find it strange. But this is your world. The world to which you longed to return. Alas. If only you had chosen to become sovereign. At the end of your travails, you could have ruled over these lands in perpetual peace. Yet that world of limitless possibilities has ended. You stand now upon its remains. The vestiges of a world that could have been so much more. Innumerable wills have served to deliver this world from extinction time and time again. You alone have refused to carry out that great purpose. What you see before you 
is the consequence of your apathy. Behold. it has failed to be chosen, and as to a mere be read, this world will soon cease to exist. In the blink of an eye, the sickle of oblivion will reap aught that you have known. I would advise you not to waste these last moments. Explore the remnants of this world while you can. Perhaps in doing so, you shall come to see the truth, and know the wretchedness of a world unworthy of being chronicled. How shall you fare, I wonder? Will you endure in this world, abandoned and unprotected? Hmm. Yes. Place to harvest some ingredients. Frame rate feels really low here. No harm in picking a few. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down my guard. These fiends are only truly defeated when their souls are smashed beyond the path. Forgot the skeletons, you gotta destroy their skulls, right? Kinda like in Zelda. So close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances of victory. Sure what to make of this place so far. Seems very inhospitable. I recognize this place though. I've been here before. It's just I will finish it. So many more skeletons.
EXP here is pretty good. I'm actually really liking this. That was superb, Arisen. Where's your skull at? not sure what the hell's going on right now like I really don't know I mean I guess technically this is you know the other world or whatever or I don't know if that ghost is lying to me to be perfectly honest but I mean I guess I'm just wandering around this new world seems fun what has become of the world what that there was someone who could explain this madness come to think of it did not Seraphaeus speak of releasing the world from its bonds in the Seafloor Shrine? If this is indeed the world unbound, then perhaps we ought to seek out his wisdom. Sounds good to me. Looks like all the water's gone. Took me a minute to realize I was even in the sea floor shrine. Hmm. I'm running out of time on the stream. Got like four minutes left. So way down. Is that it? A door of sturdy make. It will be impossible without the key. We must needs find the key. Where the skeletons? Lightning is ineffective against this foe. I grant you fire's blade. I can't use this anymore, I can I? begin to fathom what will become of the world after this. I don't have the sword. I use the sword. It seems the world is to be brought to an end. So how the hell do I We cannot allow down? this to come to pass. Um, I don't know how to get down there anymore. Seen the new Ghostbusters movie? I guess I gotta get down there the old fashioned way. Which is through the basement. Bless it. Oh, that's through the. No, down there, there. How the hell did I get down there to begin with? It was through the temple in Haven. Or. Um, ha, ha, ha. Ugh.
I mean, which Ghostbusters movie are we talking about? The newest one? Your pawn is nowhere to be seen, Master. But where would a pawn possibly go, leaving their own master behind? Perhaps this too is Lord Phasus's doing. We ought to go and speak with him at the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. Man, I don't know what to do with none of this stuff. What the hell is that?